So much Hi everyone, good evening, welcome to your Friday night and Transformers loads coming up, but let's start with that intro. There's a magical place, we're on our way there, with toys in the millions all under one roof. It's called Toys of Us. Soon after bedtime, when dark night time falls, Jeffrey and helpers stock up all the shelves. Who's feeling to blow up? Who's born games and bikes? Teddy's puppets and dolls, bats, spaceships and trikes. That chord progression at the end. I love that. Makes me feel so nice. I can listen to that. And no copyright strikes. Um, Graham, thanks for coming on the show, Moff, after your big weekend at TF Minicom. Good to see Very you. Very welcome. Good to see you Lovely as well. Man. Man. I know. You get to see you every week now. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, so last week was TF Minicom with a fantastic time with loads of stuff to go through. Arafai can't be on tonight and he wasn't at the Minicon, so really starting to miss him and his lovely hair. Uh, Alexis has got some videos. I've got some videos to show you relevant to Transformers. You can't see my videos. <laughs> Not just random uh, videos. Uh, plus, we gave <laughs> our top five Transformers from the 1985 line, uh, which will be called... Cool. <laughs> the discussion will be all about... Uh, 1985. Uh, there's loads of review, uh, reveals. We've got the Hasbro Pulse. Uh, reveals came out this week, the final lot, uh, which I know you guys done a, a live video. There's lots of news, the most exciting news in the world as well. Um, as a masterpiece, Power Master Prime, and um, we've got some photos of that as well. So let's get into it, let's get into that news. I jog some TV, and now the news don't touch that dial. Uh, Alexis actually TF Wiki the 1985 line after I twice put the, the, the picture. Yep. All of them on to you. Oh, good, I, do it in a minute. I've got all the toys up, like Action Force as well. So can you send that link again? Right. Greg Burke, not now. What, what right now? Yeah, I'll just it's only a live show. It's fine. You can oh, all right, right. I'm doing Jesus. it deliberately. Andy. 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 Greg Burger is gonna be Andy. in TF Nation. Uh that was Don't announced for that again. Recon. It's just yeah. performance with Alexis. It's performative. Yeah, I if Such anybody wants to mute him, feel free. Uh, Greg Berger is going to be at TFN. It was announced at the end of uh, the TFN Minicon. And he will also be joined by David Kay, who, of course, we all know as Optimus Prime. And apparently he may have played Megatron in Beast Wars. Um, but there you go. Uh, <laughs> I'm just joking. Ian, if you're watching, it's a joke. It's just a joke. <laughs> but he was Megatron in the Unicron trilogy. So happy days. Uh, and all the other things that you can see on there. <laughs> Uh, lovely Mark, all praise be to Mark, shared some photos of the upcoming Deluxe Insecticons, which look lovely. Uh, so there they are, and of course, there's a uh, windsweep that looks around. excellent. Mm -hmm. Great down from the four pack that is coming up, and we do like four packs as we will see again shortly. So we have seen these figures before, but these were Marks, and then we had this guy. Is this Magmatron? I think he's called, yep. yes, Magmatron, yeah. Commander Magmatron. And we have some more photos of, of him, and he does look rather good, Fetching. Um, if you're into that. I mean, you know, the face sculpt's pretty fierce, very poseable. Angry, Angry face. Carries a shield made of part Flesh. of a dinosaur. Flesh a fleshy shield. shield. <laughs> looks like a, tur looks like a turtle, <laughs> turtle. Like a flesh something. Anyway, moving on. Um, oh, big score. <laughs> dinosaur. Rah. Um, good um Another dinosaur. Plesiosaurus. And so is this a transformer? It's kind of like some there it is. Amalgamation of like a centipede, a human centipede kind of thing. Yes. It's a bit like the human centipede, but with dinosaurs. There you go. That shouldn't be a mode. Chef's kids. Anyway, what is a Hasbro? Do you think one of the Hasbro designers watched the Human Centipede and thought, "I've got an idea for a Transformer"? I think this didn't this exist before <laughs> the original existed before that. So maybe it's something. All those Japanese are kind of crazy. Format. I would be surprised if it'd been there for a long time. <laughs> it's like the all our Japanese fans. <laughs> it's like the Allosaurus braked really hard, and the other two didn't know. <laughs> it just goes straight up his ass. On the back, oh. it's a BMW driver on the A1. <laughs> <laughs> the indicator slug. Oh, anyway, moving on. <laughs> Uh, this is a weird little thing. So they're doing these Hot Wheels little skateboard things. And I, I mean, it's not something I would collect. Maybe you guys would as a little collectible thing. I, I predict this is something we'll all see in Home Bargains within a year. 
But anyway, there you go. They're coming out. Is that, There's a so bumblebee. Your finger skates, isn't it? Yeah, so, I think yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. Isn't and it then, well, the championships a... for finger skateboarding? Yeah, that is. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it? Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it there you go. Finger bashing. Finger, not finger bashing. <laughs> it's a, Different it's thing. A serious, <laughs> it's a serious sport, Andy. Serious sport. Well, I didn't say it wasn't, but fine. Okay. <laughs> you keep going with that. Uh, Transformers masterpiece, rigorous. I uh, who is currently a deception. <laughs> Isn't he from um, Diaclone? I think somebody said. Yeah, yes. um, yeah. It's like a masterpiece trail breaker done with a new like head. Choke news tonight. <laughs> it should always be. Head sculpt. <laughs> Close up. And there he is looking very proud. And there's the back of him because that's how we all display our figures. Four. And then this was a weird one that came up. Um, I don't know if it's strictly speaking classified as news, but somebody has put on eBay, you know the red figures, the RED figures? Somebody mm -hmm. has put this on eBay, and it's apparently the prototype of the Prime Starscream that was supposed to come out, but we're not sure if it's actually coming out anymore because that RED line, I'm not sure if it's current continuing. Mm -hmm. But this is the prototype for sale on eBay. So oh, it looks really good. I mean, for it, in terms of looking like the character, it, it yeah. looks quite good, but it's Even just the, weird. The model like, looks... Where did he get it from? Anyway, uh, uh, that was on eBay. Don't I have no idea if it's still on eBay, if anybody's desperate to have a look for it. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, this was um, this is something Jamie shared, wasn't it? This was from sort of the design production notes that showed the cutbacks they made on yeah, Point Blank. Because it, it kind of shows you what they wanted to do with Point Blank, you know, and, and we would have loved that figure. It would have been immense, but obviously they always get forced to cut back. And that's why... I think it's trying to emphasise to people because there's still people out there who still think leader class, deluxe, voyager, it's to do with size and it's it's to do with plastic cost and engineering they can get away with. You know, one example is you could look at some of the Dinobots like Sludge, um, where you can see where they've got the hinges in where they're meant to, you know, go in the sort of toes to go upwards to fill in in the space, but you know, obviously they ran out of budget engineering. Iron Hide in his skirt. You know, which should have been like three, um, three panels, well, two, you know, two panels on either side that go up and down, didn't happen because obviously it could have cost too much for that little bit of cutting. So it's yeah. just interesting to see that. But I think when um, Marcus shared this, you know, he's never shared anything else like this again, meaning he probably got a bit into trouble. Oh, he'll be fine. Everybody loves him. Anyway, so there you go, a little bit of interesting stuff. And then we get down to the, like, the big reveals from this week. So this is the um, Turtles crossover that we're getting. Um, now, is he called Party Wallop? They're actually called the yes, figure yeah. Party Wallop. <laughs> Not Party Wagon, <laughs> Party Wallop. And this is very clever because it's one figure that comes with all four bandanas. So you no, can make no, it into no, your... No, 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 it's not. It's not one figure. It's four figures. <laughs> four. All right, for everybody except oh, Jamie. Not Hasbro Pulse. <laughs> Hasbro Pulse look like it being four. But if you want all four of them at the same time, you will have to buy four figures. That is the mm. law. That is the rule, and that's what must happen. Yeah. We so, is it true that? Um, is it true that what? Um, Bisto said that you, they're limited to three figures each. Well, Why yeah. Not, <laughs> apparently on Hasbro Pulse, yeah. you can only buy a maximum of three, which of course is. I mean, isn't it ironic? It's the USA, isn't it? It's, mathematics isn't the strongest suit, is it? No. <laughs> and... You mean math, as they call it. They don't like to pluralise it. Anyway, there you go. There's the Raphael but one. Who wants uh, Donatello? That is probably the reason. <laughs> oh, don't start Smart with people. this again. Smart and intelligent people. It's okay, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just uh, get him off. Here. Get him off. Uh, That's what you said. Right, so we saw Ooh. this image of uh, apparently leaked Beautiful. images of Masterpiece Ginrai, so we kind of knew mm. that that's coming. So that's that's one thing there. You can see Haikyuu, or well, he's not Haikyuu in that, is he? But you know what I mean, the figure. Um, so there we go. Everybody got quite excited about that. And then within like a day, we got this image. Now, this is the translated version. So somebody's gone yeah. through Google Translate and translated all of the, the, the uh, Japanese uh, Takara yeah. uh, writing on it into English so that we can try and understand it. It's not all particularly clear though. Some of it still doesn't make no. sense. Like both are slightly three. I'm not quite sure what that means, but anyway, there you go. It just means uh, slightly. But it says there MPG. <laughs> so the MPG yeah. is different yeah. to the normal masterpiece, isn't it? Yeah. So if you go yeah. by the train bots, the, the train bots were slightly bigger than Chug, but smaller than masterpiece. So whether this yeah. is, that means this is going to be. Oh my God. It means we need to buy it. It could <laughs> be. Yeah, I know. I was thinking <laughs> the same thing, Jamie. 
if, if just, say, <laughs> say chug, uh, chug um, oh, collection, this, like this, this may have to this be. This is a dream. It's come true. Yeah. Photo box next. But we will <laughs> see. We will see. Um, I think we're all waiting for actual confirmation. And I'm guessing. I am absolutely away. wet for this. <laughs> Look, this is smash. smash, 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 smash. Right. Every single one of them. Smash mouth. Um, yeah. yeah, this, I mean, it is quite exciting. It was quite exciting when it was just the Ginrai one because I was thinking, then mm. you know, we're still yeah. gonna get a masterpiece. You know, we need something to rival the fans' hobby one, which for many years has been the best kind of version of, of him. Um, yeah. you can get so we, we will oh, see. We've got, we've, got, we've got KFC still, we're still KFC. Yeah, I stand by fans' hobby. Um, right, then we had this watch is the Transformers Legacy United four pack, which got leaked, and then within 24 hours, they confirmed it, but it was all a bit of a mess. Uh, so this is a Target exclusive in America. Over here, you can get it from the Independence. Hasbro Pulse had it up. I don't know if it's sold out anywhere you can still get it, but I bet you probably can. So it's a four have pack. Noticed... Go on, Jay. Notice with all those four packs, it's always like one Autobot about to be murdered by three other Decepticons. Yes. Coins. Well, that comes up on the packaging because it actually has a cliff jumper and it says cliff jumper and then it says versus and then it's tarantula squeeze playing tarn and cliff jumper does like to die. So, well, he doesn't like it, but he does die a lot. So this is what you get. So there's the box. See, just to demonstrate cliff jumper versus and then you've got Beast Wars tarantulas G1 universe squeeze play. And I saw some people in one one group arguing with one person. It's not squeeze blades cancer. Well, it says squeeze blade on the box, mate. So, you know. But it could be whatever you want it to be. It's your toy. What, what's um, the cancer analogy? Is that the Japanese Cancer name, is the Japanese name for it, yeah. Because it crab. turned it like crab. a crab monster and the crab is the is the yeah. um the symbol is it in the so, what you call it. So it's, it's not the robots, it's the humans. It's the cancer. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Cancer was it because they they're in the Japanese version, they're all the robots are just transtectors, they're just like shh. You tell me a British and it's fucking squeeze by <laughs> I will, Jamie. <laughs> so, so te te technically, you're both right because technically, the, the human was called cancer and the robot is called squeeze play. So... Technically, you're still fucking wrong. I don't think in the, no, I don't think thing. in Master Force the robot didn't have a name. It was just cancer. No, correct. Why the thing correct. was sold as correct. cancer. Correct. It, it was in the West. It's squeeze play with Locus. Anyway, moving on. Cliff Jumper. Sounds there like he a is. bunch of pissy magnets. <laughs> no, it's almost like the Transformers <laughs> fans, you nerds. Anyway, uh, there's Cliff Jumper that's come from the Chase mold. Is he had an out. iconic character? One of the last times um, we are like the Rock actually died. Yes, the Rock voiced the him York. in the first yeah. episode. Where spoiler yeah. alert, he does die that, yeah. almost immediately. Um, Wait, the he kind of dies, doesn't he? he? Comes back as a well. Yeah, he's rock. not really alive then though because he's a zombie. Um, spoilers. Yeah, love the it. Living dead. Right, you should have fucking watched it by now. If you haven't watched it, it's your own TV. Um, <laughs> this Tarantulas is a bit random, isn't it? Graham, you might know a bit more about this, but isn't this yeah, based on something that was seen in an advert that yeah, never came out as a toy? Prototype colors, but the head is a, the toy head, so. Right, so there you go. So Beast Wars fans, I'm sure, will be excited. Perfect, the engineers perfect must be loving business. this. Getting the toys they always wanted, you know. Mm. Years back, you wouldn't have got this, though, I don't think. I don't think you'd have got so much randomness. The only way you'd get this was, like, with the con exclusives and stuff like that. And now they're just chucking them yeah. into random four-packs that people get pissed off about. Uh, uh, currently, on HMV, this is about 50 quid. Really? Uh, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. All four like but it's a good... But it's a good chance um, they'll cancel the orders. It's, it's whether they get it, isn't it? it? Yeah, there is the beautiful squeeze oh. play, and I'm a massive squeeze play fan. And the fact that I shared this about 20 times probably tells people that I, I'm quite excited. <laughs> you'll about get this. impeccable taste, Andy. I've often said that. Thank you very much, Jamie. I agree, you too. Uh, and there he is, and it comes <laughs> with his gun, which was brown. <laughs> quite you, shut it, Baldy. Right. I'm sorry, Jamie. Uh, that was a call for Pete. I'm sorry, but no, it wasn't. It. It's true, it's it true. This, it's... this is because of him shouting at everyone on Saturday, anyway. There's Brownie. Um, <laughs> So he comes with a gun browning, which apparently in Mass Force, and I don't remember this. Maybe I was I, I, I was drunk when I was watching it, but I don't remember him having browning, as in the like Megatron style gun browning, but apparently he did. And uh, that's why it comes with yeah. Oh, I don't know. That. Andy, the beautiful Andy, uh, you're beautiful as well, Andy, but the other beautiful Andy sent us some yeah. breaking news. Mm -hmm. so I'll have a look into that and see if I can find some pictures. Oh, cool. I love gold. New figure like leaks, news. Studio Series Galvatron. Oh, we should say this is based Ooh. off the Mind Wipe. Um, the mind wipe uh, mold, isn't it, that we got from Titans Return, and they've just which is amazing they've... how they, they can retail these things. Cyberverse turn because in Cyberverse he had different colours and he was he was really a different character to the one we know from IDW. He wasn't quite the mass murdering psychopath that he is in IDW, but we're getting that in colours and with Bludgeon Sword recolored. 
So we know that toy, but it, it looks I'm, quite cool. I'm there for the sword. I'm there for the sword. And I included this because this is Crash Bash, who was released during Titan's Return, and he was based off the Squeeze Play's head, Locus. And um, yeah, it will apparently fit on that Squeeze Play. So if you prefer to change the head to this one and you've got this figure, you can. And then there was the Star Wars Transformers rumors that started circling around, which um, there is a strong rumor that we are getting new Star Wars crossover stuff, which I don't know how I feel about that because I wasn't a fan of the original crossover no. stuff. What um, was the last stuff we got? The years back, you got the you got the figures that basically turned into the vehicles. Um, the so you Falcon got like, and the Tie Fighter. Yeah, you got the Millennium Falcon yeah. that was Han Solo and Chewbacca, a piece of trash. Yeah. You got um, Anakin slash Darth Vader who turned into the um, it was the Republic oh, the Cruiser yeah. And, yeah. The, and the um, Star Destroyer, and it, that was trash. Um, in fact, every single one of the toys that I ever bought was trash. They look nice in the vehicle mode. But yeah, like, the robots were yeah terrible. I've got Slave One, and I've got the Death Star. But the Death Star was you know more it, than Dave. Death Star. You know it, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And also, apparently, we're getting a Knight Rider. That's the rumour. We are getting a Knight Rider crossover. Which That's got to be safe, sweep, isn't it? I bet they'll, they'll, they'll probably pick some Nick Sunshine. Well, it's got to be a Pontiac be Firebird. Yeah. 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 Side Sweep isn't a Pontiac, is he? So. Trax? Maybe a Traxy type thing. Maybe it'll be a new one. You know, they've remolded stuff from. I hope it's not stuff. fucking tracks yeah. mold. Fuck it, say sweep, say sweep. <laughs> but imagine, as somebody pointed out, imagine if it transforms into a robotic David Hasselhoff. Surely then it must be. Bought. <laughs> surely, I mean, surely just to has have the Hoff there, uh, it has to be. Bought. Anyway, and then this was um, fairly kind of uh, breaking news earlier this afternoon. So um, there's they're re -re they're releasing Transformers Beyblades. I don't know if any of you guys ever were into Beyblades. It passed me by completely. I, I know, I know, I know of it. Yeah, well, yeah, I know of it, but I never, never. Yeah. None of my kids are into it either. Anyway, they're doing that, and they're also re-releasing the Origin Bumblebee, which I assume is because we've got the Wheeljack, we've got the Jazz knocking about. So yeah, yeah. and then yeah. there's this the more confirmation of the transforming kit. So that's they'll probably the do a full pack, won't they? Probably do a full pack of that of of Jazz. Bumblebee, Will Jack, and then Beast Wars, Starscream, I think. <laughs> like that. <laughs> That's something what do, right? Just chuck something <laughs> random in there. Yeah, sounds yeah. right. Okay. Uh, also breaking news, Nick Roach has shock horror been uh, announced as a guest for TF Nation, which uh, surprised no one because he's always there and God bless him for it. <laughs> he's so, coming for um, your wallets. RJ will be very, very excited as he described him as his daddy. So, Nick, that restraining order. <laughs> Um, anyway, he will be there, uh, and then there was a load of photos, and I cannot remember off the top of my head who took these photos, but of the new upcoming tidal wave, it might have been not Mark. not Rab uh, not Rab. Was it Rab? Yeah, was it? Rab? Yes, thank you. You are exactly right. Not Rab on we Weibo. Weibo. Anyway, so he's taking these photos of it to show the figure off, and we have talked about this figure before. It is getting close now, I think, to when it's supposed to be coming out. It's the next couple of months, I'm sure. Um, and it does look rather epic. Is it sold out everywhere now? Is I it, think it's that would... I, no, I still think you can get it because because of the fact that it was like in some places it was two twenty, some places yeah. two hundred, some places less than that. If you can get it, the alt mode looks cool. Though, I it? love that. I absolutely love that combined like battleship, whatever you want to call it. Oh, just yeah, excellent. I Can't fucking no idea where I'm going to put it. <laughs> that looks like that looks like something out of Star Wars. <laughs> and then we've got a battle station mode, which he didn't have originally. Which actually it's looks like him a with fucking his legs battle and out, But it still works, god damn it. That it it looks like Fortress Maximus. It does. It does. Mm. It looks like a battle I've got the breaking, no, I've got the breaking no, no. news. So when you finish here, don't worry, I'll be able to slot the breaking news. So breaking news is coming up in literally five or oh, ten well, minutes. Oh, well, I'm going to skip on a bit then quickly news. so we can get to the breaking news because I want to know what I mean. So anyway, there's the photos. It looks awesome. Everybody think nipple guns. Who doesn't like them? Um, be careful, though, you nipples. Um, anyway, there's the different parts, and there he is attached, or not, well, the bits, the faux bits attached to Megatron, so you can see how they look attached to Legacy Megatron um, to recreate what we saw in the cartoon. Yeah, both modes at the same time. Yes, you can have Tidal Wave as he is, and those faux parts on Legacy Megatron to make him look badass. Anyway, that's that's all of the mainline news for now. So let's go to some breaking news with our roving reporter, Mr. Paul Farrelly. Can I do a noise like... Yeah, definitely. Breaking mm -hmm. noise. Thanks. <laughs> so, 
So <laughs> you may have noticed this has been screenshotted from Transformers World 2005. Uh, so they've got the breaking news. So testament over to them. So, um, well, uh, Gen Prime. So more news coming today via TFW's JT Prime 17. So Wave 1 breakdowns of 2025's Generation Prime and Studio Series. So the Gen Prime ones are Dulux Animated Wasp, Solus Prime, Slingshot, Air Raid, uh, Voyager Primer, Voyager Armada Red Alert, Leader G2 Grimlock, and Leader the Fallen. Uh, and that'll be April 2025. <coughs> Studio Series. Uh, locked in for Wave 1, we've got uh, Deluxe Hatchet, Double Punch, Bumblebee, Optimus Prime, PR. Uh, is that Power Master? Package Refresh. Package Refresh. PR stands for Package Refresh, yeah. Uh, not as exciting Ooh. as Power Master. Skywarp, Galvatron, <laughs> and Hate Link. Anything there that is uh, making you excited? Uh, aerial Bots? Yeah, they do. Yes. Yes. Possibly the Fallen as well, depending on how he looks. If he's based off the Dream Wave Fallen, that might be quite is, cool. Is double Punch, Counter Punch. Punch, Counter Punch. Is that someone else, Double Punch? No, because it's TF7, so it's one of the movie ones, the live action. So I, uh, I don't remember a Double Punch. I'll be interested to see who it is, yeah. actually. Uh, it's a, a whole I'm hearing kind of echo off someone. That's going to be a Lexus, right. isn't it? Anyway, yeah, yeah, it always is. <laughs> what? Fuck off. Long gone right, are the are days when it was me. Are we ready for some uh, fair party? Oh, yeah, third party. Cool. Shit, yeah. Do we have <laughs> third party? <laughs> cool. Battle King! Battle this. It's heavy metal. Crunching time is Optimus Prime. Goes toe to toe with Combat Megatron. Prime is one tough dude underneath his hood. He's a Transformer Missile Fire Phenomenon. Combat Megatron is combat armed. His mighty Mega Missiles are slamming. He can mad out more for use Mega Force, but Combat Optimus is still standing. Indeed. Oh, Double Punch was Action Master Scorpion. Oh. Was oh, so it's going to be in those okay. colors. Ooh. Sorry if that I'm gonna have to, I'm, jump scared. I'm going to have to oh, reset my browser after this because there's, there's something I want to show in the news I can't share because it won't let me show the video. So I will share it. Because it knows. You have too much <laughs> Even <noise>. your computer. <laughs> 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 Even the computer has... Sam got master on control it. over it and she's just going, no, <laughs> no. Anyway. Uh, um, this is... Uh, fans Hobby Shield Crew. Shield shield Crew. This is goes with their sword, sword Swaber Crew. So these, this is the, the counter, isn't it? To this go with Jetfire, is it? Armada Jetfire? Or is no, it Armada... it's Armada, well, it, Armada Prime, but can go with Armada figures. This is a Sky Boom Shield. Yeah. It's the team, and there is more than one photo, so I will click through. Back shots. There we go. Back shot. <laughs> Action shot. <laughs> they look pretty cool, like little cars and stuff. Mini so, conveyor belt. Pretty articulates. Pretty articulates. Pretty articulate. Sorry. <laughs> articulates. <laughs> Take down their articulates. Right. And then this is uh this is Ocular MMC. Max. MMC, yeah. Mm -hmm. MMC Ocular Max, their uh renders uh, renders prototype of uh Groove. Um which looks pretty good. We've had the X Transbox version. Um this is the self combat so it, it it turns into one of his legs. So because the feet are part of um hot shot, then it's just a, 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 a five basically. So I don't know when this is out. This is obviously pretty soon. So we've had two, two out. I think Hotspot's coming out in the very near future. And I want to say the next four weeks. Is that That's accurate to you, Moff? Do you have know, any yeah. uh, inside Does information? It? Yeah. That's about right. Yeah, that's about right. A good right. nod to the original there. And, and then got... Angius Toys. This is their Evangelion colours. It's described as a gift for the fifth mm -hmm. anniversary of Kang Toys. A lucky player will be drawn. I think they're giving this away rather than you can buy it. Can you buy this? Are they? Oh well, uh, there's something on the on the right of there's something about giving it away. But I mean, the colors are incredible. I haven't seen it for, yeah. I haven't seen it for pre-order, so still looks it's like not, oh, it's, no, it's, it is. So you can all this. So shows you have it actually. So um, oh, yes, yeah, so show, shows you have had it up just had it up today actually. So um, you can order this. No price price full price one hundred and thirty four pounds for the two pack. So, which I can't remember. I think that's gone up a little bit since, and but they were quite expensive. <laughs> yeah, cut yourself to <laughs> ribbons. Death by it looks like It looks like something out of bloody Halo, like a bad guy out of Halo. <laughs> it does have a look of Halo. Yeah. It's the colours, I think. One of the Covenant, yeah. They are, they, are cool. they need to release a tune, tune accurate head for 
Thunder King, their uh, their Predator King. That would be pretty awesome. So that's the only thing I've that's it. from the set room. That's it. Oh, crap. That's I didn't it. There's no, other, there's right. no other big news for for third party at the moment. Me, um, there will be some. What are you sharing now, though? Now. No, I've got to reset my browser because I, I need, it needs to do an update. So I'll be back in. I'll be back in about thirty seconds. All right, let's do pickups. Yeah. We'll do pickups. <laughs> we now return to the Transformers. I just Ooh. need to pick up my glass so I can drink. <laughs> Loads of pickups this week because uh, we all went to Updates. a Transformers convention. Uh, so, did we? To kick us off. Come on, Andy. What did you get this week? Go on, then. I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk um right so um I, oh i'll show the pictures I, I couldn't be bothered to bring everything upstairs because it's it's a pain in the ass for me to do um it's so hands and the arms and the legs oh it's it's all downstairs <laughs> so i didn't want to yeah right anyway pictures uh oh, oh thank you whoever did that um oh. right so i went to a uh, uh, little uh, toy fair at rainton not as big as Sandown, but still decent. And um, this was my little pickup. I had a two for ten pound original uh, Masters of the Universe figures, and I got Hordak and Grizzlaw, big hairy one, uh, incomplete, but for two for ten pound. I just couldn't, I couldn't leave them there. Bless them. They needed a home, so I got them from Toy Fu, the lovely Toy Fu at TFN. Um, I got the shell to go with my long tooth robot, which I got in a bundle ages ago. Uh, it's a beat up long tooth. Um, anyway, the, the shells beat up. It was on the table at Toy Fee for eight pound. It was there almost all day. On my last sweet round, I saw it, and I said to the guy, "Is the, how much is this?" And he put it out. It's eight quid, and I just gave him ten pounds. Here, I'll, I'll take it off your hands, and I'll I'll, I'll give it a home. Um, anyway, it's lovely. It's beaten up to hell, but God bless. It's a, one it's of a the best comic life. stories with this character. Mm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's you've got to have it on just because of that. And he'll stand on the shelf next to the other pretenders, and I'm sure he'll be very happy. I always he... like that scene when he, after the <laughs> devastation of a battle, he sort of flicks a bit of the matrix out into nature and it recovers. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah, he's kind of trying to decide what to do with it, isn't he, as well? Yeah. yeah. Um, then uh, from, I can't remember who the vendor was I got this from, uh, I got a G1 rough stuff, which was on my list to grab. Um, and he proudly sits next to Erector now. Nice little MicroMaster transport. And then the one I was most excited about. So I was lucky enough to give Graham and the Primetime Toys lads a bit of a hand at the weekend. And when we were in there, because obviously we go in as traders, we're going before to set up everything. And Toy Fu, of course, was setting up and getting all their stuff out. And they got out a box of Transformers Prime stuff. And I just clocked. It must have been his, his chest or his eye. I just clocked the red of a Transformers Prime Shockwave. And for anyone who's tried buying one of those online, you'll know they normally go for certainly north of £50. Most of the ones I've seen recently have gone for over £100. And anyway, I got it for 15 quid. So happy days. Of course, RJ was fuming because he'd wanted one as well. But I thought you wanted the Takara one. I'm sorry, RJ. I could have sworn you shared the photo of the Takara one with a better paint job. Anyway, I've got him. He's limited, but I love him. And I know some people will look at the photo and say, "You haven't attached the 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 you know tube wire thing the, to his to his gun." And I haven't because I've discovered that it's been must have been left in the little backpack for so long that the wire is so stiff it means he pulls his arm, and I can't pose him at all because it just pulls his arm back every time. Uh -huh. So I need to soften the rubber a little bit. I'm going to have to find a way of just softening the rubber a little bit so it doesn't drag his arm back. But it's still brilliant, and for fifteen quid, you can't go wrong. And then. Da, da, da. The wife got me she got me that Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime for eleven ninety nine. You know the ones that they've been selling oh. off at Smith's. So um, it's a really Wait. nice little figure. Morgan. I mean, don't get me wrong; it's not Studio Series, but for eleven ninety nine, can't go wrong. It's just small. That's the only thing you put it next to any of the other like Voyager sized bots and everything. It just looks a bit small, but a very nice little bot. So thank you very much to the wife for that. And what then, size, what size is it meant to be, mate? Is it meant to uh, be? Is it meant to be kind of like a deluxe? It's Voyager in the mainline Rise of the Beast. So, yeah, right. it's same size as probably the ones that Jamie collected, the Bumble the Bumblebeeverse ones. Like there. Uh, uh, no, 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 because Rise of the no. Beast had okay. almost its own sizing for some yeah. reason. I'm not quite sure why. Oh, but the okay. weird thing is, these are 11.99, but the is Air Razor were 20 quid, which is like the deluxe and. 
that you know it just doesn't make sense to me surely it should be cheaper but anyway then today we went for a trip out to bishop auckland glamorous bishop auckland where we visited um superpower toys and collectibles which is a shop that sells at the moment predominantly wrestling figures but they're they're going to be selling other bits and pieces and lucas is a massive wrestling fan my son lucas so we went in there and we had a look around at all these they had vintage they had loads of box wrestling figures the, the lad working there, I'm so sorry. I completely forgot to ask his name, but he was so knowledgeable and friendly, and we were all chatting and chatting about wrestling and old wrestling. And uh, they have an arcade game set up to play all of the old style wrestling nice. games. You like all cool. like you can just put any of them on. So we put one of them on, and me and Claire at a match, and we both got de decimated with shit it is. Um, <laughs> anyway, Lucas loved it. Uh, we gave him a very small budget of how much to spend, and he spent three times that. Um, oh, which we but he got some figures he was really chuffed with. So um, to show off a couple of the ones that he got, which um, also I really like, he got. Um, sorry. I, oh, let me just. Oh no, I can't stop sharing it. Anyway, he got the Legion of Doom, but it's in the when they came back as Road Warriors with the blue, um, the blue uh, whatever you call them shoulder pads. Amazing. So th yeah, they're very I'm... cool, and then. Because they had this deal on these loose figures, which were really nicely packaged in these plastic bags and stuff. But anyway, this deal on where it was like the cheapest one free. So Lucas had chosen two, and I spotted this. It's it's the original style Undertaker. Oh, um, I love it. And so I said, oh, I love that. And then so Lucas said, oh, well, you get that one, and you can have that one for your collection. I think it's because he wants me to start collecting wrestling figures with him now. But either way. Yeah, uh, I got you. <laughs> Very funny. Is it, is you it? can collect them, Dad. Yeah, <laughs> is, it a shop? is it a new <laughs> shop? Is it brand yeah, new? Is it's brand really, new really new. They haven't even got signage outside. He was apologizing for the state of the place. But actually, it wasn't, wasn't bad at all. And he is getting in more stuff. We chatted about Transformers. And the really cool thing was, he's actually one of our subscribers. And he knew no. who I was, which was... He did, <laughs> are, you, he said, are you a little bit famous? Yes. No, not really. Did you say oh, kind of a big deal? <laughs> I didn't say it. I just he's wore my, I wore a t-shirt with that. Infamous. Um, infamous. Anyway, that's you. Um, anyway, so we went there, and that was really cool. And then down the road from it was this place called Marvelous Toys, which we went and had a look around. And that was a nice, cool little independent store as well. Uh, they they had loads of Star Trek stuff. I think uh, mm. Paul, you've been there, haven't you? Yeah, it's awesome. And they also had in the front window. I wish I'd got more photos. But in the front window, though, you might just be able to see some Transformer stuff. So that's the place that some of you might have seen on social media where people shared the Unicron, the boxed Unicron, and Galvatron, boxed Armada, Armada Galvatron, and yeah. Jetfire, boxed Jetfire. And uh, yeah, that was sure. a cool little shop. So I'm going to give them a shout out as well. And that, that's it. That's me for pickups. I've taken up enough time. Cool, cool, cool. Right, um, I don't mind going next. So I've got some pickups from TF Minicon. Uh, so the first one I've got is a very special, something I wasn't... Uh, this was Cliff Jumper. Well, the top bit is Cliff Jumper. Let me make myself big. Web Humper. Uh, so, so there you can see him now. So I bought him because his colours were so cool. Uh, and then Lily, uh, who watches the show, went and got me the second bit, which is his legs. You can see a bit of the back, which is Iron Hide, which connects up. It's Energon. Uh, I just thought it was so cool. And I've given them to my kids, and they've been playing it and kind of taking it back. But really thought that was a Brilliant little bot, combined well. I'm not sure if it has all his accessories. It was a fair price, and it was at Toy Fu as well. So it's basically I'm giving money to charity. So I felt good about that. <laughs> exactly. And got a Transformer at the end of the day. Uh, and also bought up Scorpion Knock as well from them, because uh, a few of you guys said uh, he was a good boy. Finally, again from Toy Fu, uh, I got Megatron. Beast Wars Megatron, uh, the original uh, daddy of them all. And... Uh, I thought he's quite good. I don't know what all this hatred for Beast Wars is. He's a brilliant dinosaur bot, so you can't say argue more that. And it's a really cool transformation into a lovely Megatron. So, mwah, love you, dude. He's my uh, Beast Wars pickup. Look how excited our Arrow Fire is. You, I got you don't know mm -hmm. where that thing went at Minicon. You just kissed it. Uh, you didn't see what I'd done with it back in the hotel room. <laughs> I, fucking felt, I fucking felt it. <laughs> yeah. it you, Next, that was that was chaunty. Just just because the lights Chaunt. are out doesn't mean yeah. I can't fucking feel shit. <laughs> right, who'd like to go next? Come to smash through these. Uh, I'll go next. Uh, oh, are, what did you get? Very, um, very quickly. Uh, Legacy Gears, awesome, awesome little fella. Uh, they've done a great job. Really enjoyable transformation. Lovely fiddle, but he's going to be on my desk for a while. Um, I got the Cybertron Wheeljack, who I like more than I thought I would. 
I was getting him because of the alt mode and then he's here and I have really enjoyed playing with him and fiddling with him. Uh, I haven't unboxed uh, Sandstorm yet. That's going to be tomorrow's job uh, when I can enjoy him properly. And my best pickup of the week was a present from Lily. It was a miniature little animated Grimlock. Amazing. My, my oh. first present, Transformer present of someone that is a family. And it was really nice of him. And he's going to take pride of place on my PC, on my desk. So Lee, thanks very much. Dude. What an awesome, awesome dude. Absolute Good legend. Stuff. No, we did. Every time I looked at Grimlock. Lee, at... on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, do. Every time I looked at Megatron, he had a different an onion. We had one ma We had so many onion rings. I'm not sure what happened. There was some sort of confusion in the restaurant, and the waitresses just kept coming up with more and more onion rings, didn't they? Uh, a lot of them ended up on Beast Wars Megatron uh, in different places. Uh, right, um, Moth, what did you pick up? Uh, similar to Pete, I got uh, Gears, which is it's amazing, fantastic. isn't it? He's yes, absolutely yes, amazing. Like, the, the, on the back of his head with the, the VM from the like, original toy, you know, hidden wee bits, like opening up his chest as a cracking, cracking little toy. Uh, and you just say a great wee fiddle bot. Um, I also got Sandstorm, also haven't opened them. I also got Silver Bolt. Um, uh, because it's now Transformers, I also got some turtles, mainly so I could get a Donatello, because Donatello's the best turtle. Uh, <laughs> oh, <who's this? laughs> <laughs> um, from the weekend, I got a uh, Octo Punch. <gasps> so I'm really chuffed with that. I went to get some pretenders this year, so I'm really happy Sexy. with that. And then, uh, really importantly, I completed my mini bot collection uh, and upgraded some of them as well. So I got a, a better version of Sea Spray, Charger Outback, and what path. So I now, finally, after many, many, many years, Finally, get around to completing the mini bots, which is probably the easiest collection to complete. <laughs> um, but uh, really happy with them. Um, and I went to on Friday on the way down, I went into Manic Miners, who will be at TF UK Con. I popped in to say hello and just get a chat uh, and end up picking up some masks. So I picked up a uh, bandit with the very inappropriately named uh, Ali Bombay. Um, so I was very <laughs> pleased. I know I got a, a lovely t shirt from looking. So, oh, nice. Good 40th birthday Transformer t-shirt from looking. So, yeah, had a great weekend. And I, and I picked up a new member of the Primetime team. Not the Greg. <laughs> <laughs> not, not the Greg. Not the Greg. <laughs> I, I also want to thank a quick shout-out to Paddy as well, because Paddy was brilliant yeah. at the weekend. It was lovely to see him as well and get to spend a bit of time with him again. I saw your photos as well, Moff. If you head over to Transformers The Show on Facebook, uh, you've put your whole mini bot collection up there uh, for all to see. It's really cool. Brill, uh, Jamie, last but not least, what did you yes. get this week? Have I got a photo to share? Yes, if you can share the Here photos. Here we go. So, um, basically, these are the photos of, like, Blaster and um, Eject and um, the Five Pack, which I really, really do enjoy. I, I, better than I thought. Because, obviously, when the Five Pack were announced, the, the one that caught everyone's attention in minds were um, Hound. And, yeah, Sunstreaker... It, it, it just feels better it looks mm -hmm. better um, I like the fact I can transform them about the clear plastic because sometimes with Transformers it's about with child collectors anyway we like to transform and play around and transform back and, and you just don't want to break the things and that's the trouble with clear plastic although well, clear plastic granted does look better on many occasions the fear of breaking mm -hmm. things is just not worth it I don't think not when it's like a chug toy Um Jazz, Jazz just looks very similar to the other Jazz. Trailbreaker, fucking brilliant. He, and the colours mm -hmm. just make him a much better bot. And he definitely better without the clear plastic. You know, the clear plastic in bot mode that just sort of, I don't know, just took away from it. You know, it might be good in vehicle mode, but it definitely detracted from the robot mode. You know, that transparent look kind of thing. Um, Blaster is brilliant. The, the paint mode, I, I don't know, he's just worth it. I would have sold my soul for Blaster. He's he, anyone who was on the fence, your fools, you know, madness, you know, you need to get blaster. <laughs> Although there's a lot of QC issues with blaster. Some people have been touched with the, the paints at an angle and stuff like that. So hopefully the quality control gods are with you. Wheeljack, good in robot mode. 
kind of lacks the character of the air fries or what the siege version real jack because I, I i like to paint deco i like the little labels and the little touches they did there but you know he's definitely he might be the weakest but you know he's definitely got some positives there um so i did some photos you got hound charging That's into cool. battle you know and, and, and i love hound i mean hound is good difficult to photograph all because he's the way they paint in the face you know if it's too light these sort of features tend to disappear so because he's got an overhang in his sort of helmet you know you definitely want a sort of moody dark lighting because then his features really come out like he's seen shit he's he's seen stuff you know he's he's a fighter um <laughs> they're sounding them um, sunstreaker together i'm just thinking you know they're waiting for the music to stop so they can join prime for the battle of autobot city you know so they're just sitting there chilling waiting until the music is finished um as I said, I hope it gives you some idea of just um, how much better Sunstreaker kind of looks now. I don't know, he just... He just, he just it does, gorgeous it does. Man, it does. Gorgeous. And yeah. Um, and there's um, Jazz. And there's Wheel Jack. Um, obviously, Jazz was actually in Moonbase 2 for the Battle of War. Or Moonbase 1, I think. I can't remember exactly like which Moonbase it was. So Wheel Jack is probably a bit senile and just imagine One. him there. And Will Jack died in the battle for Autobot City, didn't he? So I just wonder what how he met his end. But yeah. That's so... weird meteorite looking thing. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Who was that? Me. I was trying to see how get this out so I could comment. <laughs> and and there's, oh. there's Trail Baker. All team off. And Trail Baker, <laughs> as I said, was um Sorry, I just think the colours are better. And it's <laughs> The colours are better, um, and and the fact the clear plastic I think adds to the bot mode. It really does because I think somewhere the, the transparent part just sort of took away, to my mind anyway, it took away from inside. Unless they could have figured out how to put a sort of panel in, which would have gave them more sort of girth, more depth, and more like a sort of solid look to them. Then that might have been something to do. But yes, he's um, he's five pack yes. is definitely. Um, worth it and uh and i had fun the blaster looks brilliant with them like it just Mm. looks great in that collection that first picture jamie's just outstanding it just looks like they all it looks like they came for a six pack it doesn't look like they've came for two separate they just look oh like they go together it kind of felt like that because everyone was getting them at the same time the five pack and the blaster and it was like um all v paints i mean but blaster was definitely the king of the v paints you know because hound is a v paint hound is a v paint from the um, yeah, yeah. what do you call it? The I've forgotten his name. Um, the sand colored hound, which we had there. Tritus. <laughs> yeah. And so, all we paints, battled we paints, but you know, I, I, they're an upgrade and they're good. And if you know, and they can swap into your characters. And if you've got the other five, you can either sell them or you could just transform them so you can have two in both different alt mode one in robot mode and one in alt mode. You know, and since the clear plastic tends to be better for vehicle mode, you're, you're, you're on a winner, really. So, Jamie, we have two. Yeah. Jamie, can 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 we tell the story? The story from Saturday. <laughs> oh at yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to tell, tell it? You tell it. So, um, so D- Dave approached us in the morning. Dave Wallace from TFN approached us to to ask where Jamie was because he needed to have a word with him. And then when Jamie <laughs> arrived, we already knew what it was about. When Jamie arrived. I think, how did he do it? He pointed at you and said, Oi, I need yeah. to have a word with you. And Jamie was quite panicked. Me. Yeah, he was quite panicked. <laughs> he'd done something wrong. But what it was, was that Dave uh, had already decided he was not buying this version of Blaster because he didn't need it. Right <laughs> up to the point where he saw Jamie's photos on the show and on Twitter and decided, oh, no, I'm wrong. Jamie's photos have convinced me. I must buy this now. So he was just saying about how fantastic Jamie's photos of Blaster were. And that they have caused him to have to buy something. So you are an enabler. Well done, Jamie. <laughs> oh, yes. He's done it to me a few times as well. I know. He's got me before I'm as well. A, I must say, Joe, I was very sceptical about this five-pack. As you know, I made many derogative comments about the the quality of the repay and why bother. And I must say, actually, I do notice the difference from the... Awesome. I, owned, I owned Sunstreaker. I owned Will Jack. Um... I own jazz, so I do notice the difference really. So I can, I can say, you know, you were almost right, almost. Um, could you remove the pictures? Thanks for that. It's almost as good enough for me. 
So, um, I also picked up Starscream. Um, now, I have no connection with this figure. I kind of like a murder Starscream, but I just really like the figure. I it's think it's so well designed. And, um, <laughs> you know, and, it, and it's just good. It, it's just good fun. So, yeah, uh, the Starscream rock. I'm not jealous at all, Jamie, you bastard. <laughs> Mine arrives tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you, Royal Mail, you useless... I'm joking because you haven't delivered it yet. I love you all. No, so. <laughs> they deliver on, on, on bank holidays, right? Oh god, the system, eh? Oh no. I mean, I was supposed to get it on Thursday, but no, man, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I, I also it picked up um, gears like everyone else, and um, gears has got a face where you know he's lived through stuff. You know, he's yeah. he's you know he he's seen scary stuff. You know, he's, <laughs> was he with us at T a TFN? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, RJ and had a conversation. He's he's had it tough. <laughs> you know? yeah, you'll be able him. to confirm, um... boys. All of you who've got it. You'll be able to confirm the chest piece is actually in the box, isn't it? Because some yeah. people yeah. were yeah, it's panicking back, that there's yeah. turned up, yeah. and I know some people have done posts about it, but it's worth no, mentioning. It's yeah. why they, they, they're trying to avoid all that getting scraped and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. So, I'm, so I'm, the chest piece isn't attached that. when you first get it, and you can't see it, but it's in the box, isn't it? So if anybody yeah, gets theirs and goes yep. into a panic mode don't i i honestly have i mean i've transformed them and, and i love the vehicle mode i think it's good and um and his legs are definitely much thicker than i, I think the photos give you an illusion that he was less than he was but he's quite a solid good little mini bot figure and um hands off has well you've you've done it you know you've done it with star scheme gears um silver boat <laughs> amazing the best beast wars figure it's ever been um oh, and, and, and and this is a great upgrade and it's i mean i i love the um the silver bull figure i don't like beast wars you know beast wars is pish but some of the figures they have immense some of the figures are brilliant and the comics of beast wars immense as well some of the best mm. stories i've read uh, the beast war comics you know um Maybe maybe I've watched Beast Wars when sober. Maybe I should watch it drunk. I don't know more. Is that what you recommend when you're pissed at your skull watching Beast Wars? Then suddenly it's good. But yes, who was he, um, so he, look, he looking at then? He looked at. I think who he's looking at. It's like a screen. I mean, he's taking it on moth. Yeah, my clue was that. And you need to get it. And the thing that amazes me is you've got three Transformers from three different universes, yeah. and they nailed them all. And then Sandstorm. Oh. Um, this is a this is a Madonna moment. You know, get down on my knees and take. I can't wait to see your pictures with that. That that that's going to be standing. In your uh, this I oh. I honestly got him in the hand and I went. Oh, I need to do weights to hold this bad boy. This 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 Hang guy's on. got. This Are guy's got weights. Like the oh, he feels solid. That's like, the, that's like the latest version of the Grand Tour. He gave you a sand job. Well done, Alexis. Moving on. <laughs> Trombone Paul. Good night. I do love that tune. Sandstorm <laughs> is, I as I say, this wave it's came out this week from Hasbro Pulse. Three different universes, four figures from there. Um, Gears, Sandstorm, Starscream, Silverbolt, all out the park, all essential buys. Um, if you haven't got the money, you have got two kidneys. You only need one. Um, so. <laughs> That's, that's that's advice. How, how much is he? Fucking hell! Jamie represents his own views on the show. <laughs> not the other part. It's not Then you can <laughs> buy Power Master Optimus Prime MP Takada, oh, whatever yeah. it's going to be, which will come out. So yes. this is when you play the set. This is where you play the sign for the next set. <laughs> this is where you play right. It. Alexis, do you want me to play your uh, movie? No, he's got to do oh, his pickups. One, one other thing. I. Um, I oh, sorry, Jamie. I got this. I bought this from Andy. Your seventh one, um, one, Andy Gold, um, Spinister. Do you know the skinny thing about this is I was in this, and me <laughs> led went for Spinister, and I went, "How the fuck do you know this name?" You know, <laughs> you know I, I, you've got twelve of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. are, you, are, you, are you sure? She just didn't mispronounce it. She just called you a. No, spinster. she got the name, That's and she said, you. "I don't." I, she's like. 
I don't know why. I just know the names of your Transformers and I hate you. <laughs> I was <so> worried. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, though, that you focused on the fact you knew the name and not the I hate you part. <laughs> yeah. 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 I was, I I was touched. <laughs> right. Right. Okay, cool. Uh, right. Uh, Quickly do your pickups then, big boy. I've got, I've, I've got May. I've got May. So um, so I got from Minicon. Uh, I got this wonderful flight stand. I know, very exciting. Uh, this is the fan toys flight stand because it. If you notice when you got uh, scored recently, uh, in alt mode, you can't connect into an original fan toys flight stand, which I have three of. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, fan yeah. stories. I thought, why is this ash and blue? Because the fucking third party flight stand you got to pay for separately is blue. Luckily, I know a very good crack dealer, plastic crack. Don't take my Andy. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought yeah, this from Prime Time. I got this from Prime Time Stories. Thank you for sorting me out there, uh, gentlemen. Um, that's my pickup from Tiffany Con. <laughs> um, I then yeah. bought in one of the groups. I got. Um, um, uh, new, uh, not New Age, uh, but, 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 but Magic Square Bumblebee 2.0. So remember the Bumblebee which oh. had the really weird uh, wonky eyes, which, yeah, I, yeah. which is over. So this one that's got a different different um, face sculpt. Uh, if it so, I don't know if it focuses. I'll zoom out. Zo uh, do that again. Uh, there we go. It's a different Yay. face sculpt. It's got a better face sculpt, as you can see, painted all over, and it actually looks pretty decent. And it does. So I've got the uh, other one. No, too far away. The New Age one down there somewhere. But I was gonna. I'm gonna do a little video because I've got this one. I've got the original New Age flipper, which is this one they did, and I've got the couple of MPs, and I've got the original uh, Bumblebee, which is a, a, above fun a, above the. He's about there, about there, which is the one with dodgy eyes. So I've got that, and then I also got this a Roman Roman reporter camera. I also got the Fex hobby. Uh, oh, nice. nice. So I got I got this. So uh, I got the Septicon one as well. I've got to build, and I haven't quite finished it, as you can see. And I've got to reorganise it. So it's very solid. And um, this is my this is my old base. I thought I'd buy the Septicon one and the Autobot one, so I have different ways to display the figures and take photographs as well. So I'm currently building that, which is it's complicated. I'm going to do a short video to explain how that works as well. Um, so that is. Uh, that's my pickups. That's what I got this week. So, but there is something else I want to talk about, which um, Paul will share with you in a minute. Because um, remember the competition we did a while back, uh, which from the end of last year through to the twelfth of January. Well, I thought we'd just relive that precious moment at the end when Nathan won, and we all were in such awe Why? of Why the did you competition. Want so if this is a um, bloody Paul, wheel, you can oh, get in the yeah. bin. Oh, Paul, if you can play that video, mate, that'd be amazing. I'm going to go to the skirt. <laughs> oh, I've got a press play. I'm sorry, I've got a press play, haven't I? So it's up to me, press play. Helps if I press play, doesn't it? I mean, it does. And also, if your sound works. <laughs> is sound working? No. no. <laughs> Which you always do. Do you know that? This is weird. This is why on the live stream yesterday, I was reluctant about sharing the video because I thought, what happens if it happens to Alexis moment? <laughs> yeah, mine works like perfectly you. straight away. I don't understand that. What's going on? It does. Come on, just it's just... It's different one. You have right, to share it there, mate. Sorry. Right. right. Try again. Do it, try again. Sound? No. 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 Okay. We'll I'll, work, I'll work it yeah. out. I'll work it out. I'll work it out. You tried. <laughs> You're very trying, and you tried. Thank you. Right. Well, that brings us five. on. So, what? It's gonna be five bits. I work out. Okay. No one cares. Um. Right. I'm <laughs> <laughs> joking. Um, joking. I'm not joking. Uh, let's just, uh, doing a little bit of foreplay. Lynn, these are sex people. <laughs> what do you mean? They're sex swappers. Lynn, this is Defcon One. Look. Look, don't make the same noise as them. <laughs> don't think you want to join in. Read then, pet. So, full play. So, tonight we're doing our top five um. Transformers from the 1985 G1 lineup. So, uh, they've all come from that time period. Oh, uh, we're going to do one each. 
can I can I just share that? I, I just feel this needs to be done just to just to clarify, just to clarify mm. for certain members of the team who may be confused. <laughs> so if you don't mind, so th these these are the ones we had got to choose from. Just nobody in particular, Alexis. So these are the ones you got to choose from. But I, I would say, and I think we've all, all of us who have looked at this, would say this is really hard because there are some guess which is the one I picked. Bangers. You can guess the one I picked. Well, I know, I know for a fact what Pete's picked. I, I think we all know. Uh, picked, I, so. I changed my decision based on Pete. <laughs> yeah, there, there was an element of right, what, what will they have picked? So, um, oh, Mark, you got, first. <laughs> you got the Insecticons in there. You got the mini vehicles. You've Dinobots. got the jump starters, obviously. No, maybe not them. But you've got even the Autobot cars. You've got Deluxe Insecticons. You've got Dinobots, obviously. Triple Changers. You've got uh, Shockwave. You've got Jetfire. You've got Perceptor and Blaster. Omega Super. I mean, Jesus Christ, this year was absolutely loaded with awesome, Dang awesome it. toys. Oh, you, yeah. you said, oh, gosh. Blasphemous. Blasphemous. <laughs> on, on, if on if you think year. I'm worried about that after all the things we've done on this show, you should you're, you're be. <laughs> Straight you down, he shall. <laughs> what a year. Like Jermaine says, absolute banger <laughs> of the year. You used to get religious. <laughs> you you said said I was giving an Easter egg about an hour ago. <laughs> Too early. Too early. <laughs> anyway, who's going first, Paul? Who's who's gonna I can reveal go nineteen eighty five? I need to get some more wine. We're back in a minute. In other words, he's gonna find that. his bot. Right. <laughs> <He's> gonna... <laughs> you know uh, he on has. Jamie. Um, hey, she, <laughs> actually, share my screen. <laughs> Do you know what? I was going to not let you go first, Jamie, because you've chosen the same as me, but I won't be a dick. I'll, you go <laughs> <laughs> I'll, seriously go. I'll go first. I can see what you're going to put up. Like, fuck, you've chosen the same one as me. Um, I I've said this before, and it's like, um, when, I saw, when I saw this sort of option in 1985, it was actually a close call. It was between Inferno and Sludge, and I think both came from my aunt Elaine. And um, you know, Sludge was just the ultimate title, but the G1 toy is just immense. I, I obviously I've got the updated Studio Series 86 version, which is brilliant, and it's it's the toys we always wanted. But Sludge to me is, uh, I, I love the cartoon. I love the comics. He was always immense. He was strong. And he had wonderful storylines when he went um, haywire and the Decepticons. But well, the Autobots were trying to be on back in, but the Decepticons were on the trail and got rid of a TV crew, which I'm never sure if they actually murdered that TV crew or not. Um, but obviously stunned um, Sludge and obviously stunned the Autobots and kind of captured them. And that was Soundwave's part of that sort of like squad group of people there. But Sludge has just been brilliant. He's a bit slow, a bit dim a bit brave and heroic and um, everything which Autobots really should be, he sort of encapsulates, um, you know, and, and I just I just loved it. And he's, a, and he's a brilliant toy. I mean, the toy was a Diaclone toy originally, so you had the sort of little pilot seat and stuff like that. But the sort of uh, the robotic dinosaur, and that's that's what we kind of loved. I mean, it's not much robots in disguise. It was robots that are fucking awesome, <laughs> you know, because it just transformed into um, a Brontosaurus, yeah. which at one point was taken away from um, dinosaurs, wasn't it? They said, oh, it doesn't exist. And they said, oh, we got it wrong. Brontosaurus is back. Everything is safe. So that was good. But Sludge, Sludge is a good character, and um, this was taking him my S10 um, Samsung phone, and and I loved it. He's just he's just such a ah, it was it was a big bot, a big bot. So to me, it was almost like photographing a masterpiece figure. And I don't own masterpiece because I would never do that. I'm a chug collector, chug stuff to the <laughs> end. Um, <laughs> apart from Scotland, the chugging means wanking. But um, oh, you didn't have to. <laughs> yeah, but. But here, here, in the rest of the world, Greetings chugging, 120 chugging viewers. means yeah. being Goodbye. a transformer nice collector for mainline. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Sludge, Sludge is brilliant, and he's just got so much character. I, just, I love that you picture. Know, and you know the engineers yeah, cool. loved this, and they could have done so much more, because you can see where the, you know, like I talked about before, when he sort of like transformed, where his feet's meant to sort of fold in, you can see the hinges are there. If they were just cut, it would have worked, but... Um, He's just a brilliant figure, and you you need them in your collection. And the great thing about Sludge is, um, is you can get two of them: one in robot mode, one in Dinobot mode, and uh, eighty-five awesome. bot, eighty-five bot. Not you Studio know, just, Series. I was just going to say um, Studio <laughs> Series eighty-six. Studio <laughs> Series eighty-six. Bot. The character, the character, the character. He's got you there. He's got you there. You know, and. <laughs> 
Yeah, Even showing yeah. a scene from the movie there with the eyes popping out. That's a the movie. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 and that's about, well, the script was written much earlier, so I'm good by the script. <laughs> 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 Ooh, Ooh, sexy I, I, <laughs> and there, there's my tribute to uh, maybe a, a 1985-86 poster of the Dinobots, <laughs> which was obviously... Um, I, what was the name of the original artist, Andy? Can you remember? Uh, was it Sullivan? Um, was um, that not Jeff Senior? Oh, Jeff Senior, yeah. 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 Jeff Senior, yeah. yeah. Was it Jeff Senior that did that? No, Flora Dairy was a long, long, long time after that. Okay. It's, uh, oh, Christ, now you're asking. Well, I will look it up. Somebody in the chat will know. So, come on, chat. Help us out here. We oh, can't do all the work. His name. He's, a, he's a brilliant artist. Um, oh, right, once you're chat, finding out, I'll chat, go chat, next. Don't forget uh, to put yours in the chat. But chat, yes, it was Sludge. Sludge was for me. Great. I'm not seeing anyone great, in the chat great, yet, but 85 too. bots. Chat, fill, fill the boots. All right, Alexis, you said it three well. times. <laughs> right, uh, I'm going next then. So I went for Sludge. <laughs> Uh, I went for the actual 85 <laughs> bot sludge, which um, I got for my fifth birthday. <laughs> uh, my fifth birthday, so uh, which was in 1987, I think, or 1986. It was one of those two. I was five, but I remember it's one of the first things John I can Haggis. remember about being a kid. Jordan Haggis. <laughs> no, John Higgins. Jordan Haggis. Jordan Haggis was Higgins. the artist. Oh, okay. So I thought you were just going really Scottish. <laughs> he's a snooker player really Tartan. uh right so yeah <laughs> mine was sludge uh and absolutely loved him as a kid what i can get over was how cool he was compared to the other transformers he seemed a lot more articulated a little chest bit which popped open which i thought was really weird oh. and then years later you find out about all the diaclone stuff which went on uh just the gold where he had all the underneath like all the mechanics underneath the gold head um, was something I'd never seen before. Um, it, it was just more articulate. It looked cooler in his alt mode than any of the Transformers I had at the time. I was only five when I got him. He's one of the first memories I have. Uh, my parents got him. And um, yeah, he was my only Transformer, my only Dinobot up until I got back into it as an adult as well. I don't think I got any others. Um, but yeah, mine was Sludge as well, Jamie. So good choice. Great minds. Think of light. Go on then, Andy. We are impeccable people. Paul. Well, we are. I, I, I'm going to continue. Good take. I'm going to continue uh, the um, the theme, I think, but I, I am going to give a quick shout out to C Spray, who was an 85 bot, because he was, uh, as I've mentioned before, he was the first Transformer I remember buying with my own money by choice, as opposed to being gifted um, my pocket money. But I can't really choose him as the best bot of 1985 because, uh, you know, it, it's standards. So I've gone with the Dinobot and I've gone with Snarl Ooh. because he is my favorite and actual 1985 Snarl as well. So, yeah, I was going to use the Studio Series one. Is that I thought, the actual 1985 one. one, or is that yeah. a cheap remake? No, this is the original. This is the I proper one. Talking. You can tell, by the way, it's knackered Shut to fuck. Tired. And, uh, and if, you touch, <laughs> if you touch the legs, the even slightly, the fists will pop out like nobody's business. You could kill somebody <laughs> with these. Um, but I love him. He's always been my favourite. I don't know really why. Uh, don't get me wrong. I love Grimlock. I mean, obviously, who doesn't love Grimlock? But, and... You know, the others are good too. But sn really something, always something about Snarl. I always loved it. It's the chrome on the... It's the... the, the, the you know, Alexis. Oh, yeah, all beautiful. of this. Sorry? Just... What? And this one isn't... Don't get me wrong. This is G proper G1. If you stand him up and the wind changes direction in robot mode, he may pop over. <laughs> but... But that just shows he was well loved and well looked. Well, fairly well looked at. It's not broken. I'll put it that way. There's so many of these you see that are broken. So... um I'm not going to mess around amazing. with him much because I don't want to break him. But Snarl, just a great figure. And also just representative of the Dinobots. And again, so many bangers in this year. So many fantastic figures. But the ones that actually, I can actually say, oh, I have had that figure. I have, you know, I was thinking, I was thinking that I have actually had a G1 Jetfire complete and a G1 Shockwave complete in hand before. But it, when it was, it was when I was a kid, I was mates with a guy, a kid who, um, his dad was in the army, so they went all over the world, and he, so he he had like all these rare ones that we didn't necessarily get over here. Anyway, Snarl, awesome, love him, favorite Dinobot. Just not what, good what enough for Transformers a movie. That's all. He's in it. He's not in it much, like, but he's one in it. Scene. <laughs> exactly. That's all we need, and he still looks better than Sludge. Anyway, yeah, good on. choice. Uh, well done for choosing actual Transformer from 1985 as well. Um, good yeah. standard. <laughs> 
<laughs> right. Uh, should we move fired. on to so Pete? So Pete, you would have just been coming out of college at this time, nineteen eighty five, getting to work. What was your? Oh, yeah, I just bought my first house. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> was it for five pounds? <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. Five English pounds. I just saved up for a whole week and a, and a, and a tap and take me. <laughs> yeah. Raising his penny, parving. Not like these young people. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I feel in in, in this situation, I should thank my learned colleagues for having an opinion but i think there was we all agree there was only one true bot of 85 and it was mm. g1 grimlock he is um, that the original g1 yeah that his is. legs are a little bit floppy the like chrome the, yeah, <laughs> agreed. no no the opposite mine are the opposite mine are tight mine don't move <laughs> grimlock's got loads of flexibility um he um, I think much like you guys, he is the first Transformer I remember um, actually getting. As in, I was there in the shop when, when I got it. He was my favourite character in the cartoon. Um, the Air Force, the Air Force storylines uh, that they did in the comics, uh, you know, made him a little bit into a, a comedy character, which I loved. I, I still think to this day, he is my favourite. He's my favourite character of all time. Um, and 85 was the year that brought him to us. So, yes, G1, Grimlock, 1985. I admire that, because you know what? I've got a robot in Grimlock, and um, I feel You've not same. brought that up before, Jamie. <laughs> Flex! No, no. <laughs> Flexo! Up there in the corner. Take <laughs> 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 my throat there a little bit. Shall I go uh, next? Have you, have oh, you anyone to... Sorry. Sorry, Pete, cool. didn't interrupt you there, sir. All good. All right. Yeah. Mark, have you go been? on then, Lexus. You go next. All right. So so I looked at I I, I found it quite hard to so I, I've owned Grimlock and Snarl at two dime bots, right? Well, quite okay. hard. You said you didn't even know what it was until the show started a bit quick. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why I found it hard. hard. <laughs> you didn't know who was released. <laughs> Stop with, with the BS language. I don't start. <laughs> It sometimes takes like your brains to go for me to go through that full process of what actually does oh. genuinely matter, and like so I, I'll give an honorary mention to Astro Train because he's my favourite MP. No, on, MP no, bot. we didn't say honorary <laughs> mentions, did we? <laughs> he asked for it. I mean, he asked to be for fair, it. To be fair, I did show off Sea Spray, so I think that was that that opened the door for him. And I apologise. I assume you done oh, that. I said, "What you done, Andy. There, Andy?" Exactly. You did Sea Spray. <laughs> I showed so I thought, one very quickly. He he does it for that, like three masterpieces. I've just done that. So I thought I showed. I thought I showed that. Was, was that last piece spot from '85? Well, that's that's my <laughs> point. That's my favorite. So, so if I'm doing what I actually yeah, own, then actually Jamie used one from 2023. We, oh, we always, oh, yeah. we, all, we always said we would do honourable mentions at the end, so we don't go into someone else's okay. pick. No one else is picking. I'm, everyone's, I'm the last one. Anyway, no, you're not. I, <laughs> yeah, but I know. But he's going to same as Pete. So anyway, anyway, okay, fine. <laughs> um, I've owned the same ones that you guys have. So the only other one that I own on that list, I think, oh. that I played with a lot, I remember playing was Inferno. So my pick will be Inferno. Nice. So that's the good choice. That would be my second choice. And I think I I played with Grimlock so much that his wing fell off. But Inferno, I I think his ladder fell off in the end. It was like the, it was like the move that was moving part. But I still got the Inferno. I was extended it. Uh, <laughs> 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 well, well, the wing, right? <laughs> so, extended, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't an erector. It wasn't a grapple. It was an Inferno. <laughs> he was putting fires out, not making fires. Inferno, anyway. the best wrecker. Just saying. <laughs> so he's the best wrecker, and I think, I think, yeah, I did like. I remember he had the the, the hands, didn't they? Like you had to like prime. You had to plug him in, didn't you? Because you could, you could interchange his yeah. hand for his. Yeah. Um, his, so his, uh, missile his, in the... his missile, his nozzle, and well, it fired, didn't it, as well? And that's why you lost them. Because it was a hose, you can have like a nozzle, you can have different things, right? And that's why you lost it. <laughs> that's why you lost it, because yeah. they pinged across the... Spring-loaded, pinged across the room. Um, but it was... it was a, a, I really like the transformation on it. I think the MP version, that takes a lot from it as well. So, so mine will be... Because, again, I've owned ones in later life, but ones that I was playing as a kid would be uh, Inferno. Because you guys picked all dive box. We can't all be privileged to own the original toys again, like some people. We have to make do with the modern interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's not like oh, you could afford that. Them. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> right, Muff. What was your choice, sir? 
So when we, uh, Simon and I talked about this recently on our, our um, YouTube channel and I picked Grimlock, but I knew Pete was going to pick Grimlock because that's obvious. <laughs> um, so I thought, instead of going Grimlock, I, thought I picked my kind of second favourite. And actually, you have done what my head does, so that you've all went through the Dinobots. I love the Dinobots because they all looked uniform and they're their own kind of wee bit. But uh, my pick, I went for was my bombshell nice. so i had the three it's the only thing i ever completed as a kid was the three insecticons and i absolutely loved them i think the colors still to this day just look beautiful and i've got re-releases but your own toys from a childhood are a bit special so mm. i've seen better days as of most of the g1 stuff but very similar to the the, the conversations you've had about the what were these like, as a kid going what are these compartments for I didn't get it, but yeah. the three of the Insecticons together are just actual beautiful. Um, the colours on them just stunning. Same as when you put the the five Dinobots together, absolutely gorgeous. And I always remember, I always thought it was a cartoon, but it was the um, the toy advert with a swarm of the Insecticons going round and just. So I just loved the Insecticons. I thought they were really good. So I went with Bombshell. So I didn't copy. Really really when I was um, twenty one, twenty two, I was living in Canterbury and I was working. Uh, I can hear myself coming through. A photographer uh, in Canterbury, and um, but on my day off, like an absolute saint, I only done this for a little while. I worked in Oxfam, and one day, like they just got, um, it wasn't community service; it was volunteered. <laughs> uh, one day, they got, um, <laughs> they got a uh, bombshell came through. I was just going through this box of shit, and bombshell was in there. I was like, "Fuck!" So I said, to, like, the lady who ran it, I said, "Can I just have this?" And she's like, "Yep." Yeah. I just got it for free. It was brilliant. Bombshell. Beautiful. Uh, Charity lost out, but I got bombshell. <laughs> <laughs> they got lots of days of service from me, so I guess you made so. up for it with toy food, I mate. To be fair, yeah, I did. They got exactly. uh, hey, Drew, miss you, dude. Uh, right, my video's working, <laughs> everyone. And what we'll do, Lexus, is we'll do that at the end. No, uh, no, do it now. Before. Ah, I'm all right. <laughs> we'll go straight to the oh, time, oh, and I'm then we'll do a special Alexis oh, section at the end. Paul, so oh, you need to get that little clip from Lord of the Rings where Gandalf goes, "You have no power here." Oh, that yeah. <laughs> 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 right, okay. Discussion time. It's a TFN Minicon special. We now return to the Transformers. So it's TFM Minicon last week in Manchester. We're going to talk about the whole thing, everything which happened. We've got a little video we're going to play first of all. Um, everyone here was there. It was it was kind of meant to be one day, but it kind of bled into two days uh -huh. uh, of awesomeness for some of us. Uh, and it was a nice uh, appetizer for the conventions coming up. So let's first of all, so we've got a small video to play uh, of the videos of the weekend. Here we go. Science. Hi Rob, it's Alexis and Paul from Transformers the Show. We are at the TFN Minicon in Manchester. We have a mere 12 hours before it starts. Alexis, how's it been so far? Well, it's so much fun tonight. Um, everyone's here tonight. Um, but if you're not here tonight, come tomorrow. If you're here tomorrow, we'll see you next week. Next week, we'll see you in the uh, TF UK con as well. If you're not there, we'll see you at Marjorie So If you're not there, we'll see you at Christmas. Love you lots. Bye. So it's half past midnight. We are branching out. Everyone's gone to bed. So Very booming place. We're going out in Manchester, aren't we? We're living large. It's fucking cold. We're best walking to the best. Best club ever in the whole wide world. I want to go to bed. It's fucking I'm really cold. hungry. It's fucking cold. And I'm going to go to the canteen. Good morning, it's the morning of the Minicon. Uh, we're about to go downstairs, are we? Yeah. Alexis has provided uh, breakfast. Let's try and see, she's ready to go. She got ruined last night. She got smashed. <laughs> she got smashed last night, we We're going to be uh, early for once. I think it'll be about uh, 11 o'clock where we get there. We're normally up, we get into there about a good 4 o'clock or 5 p.m. 
Um, so <laughs> it'll be a good early start for us. Andy's been there since 6am staying up with Primetime Toys. Uh, Pete's on his way. Uh, we can't wait to see him on the Jamie. No one's heard from him, so hopefully he's uh, not too hungover. But yeah, this is our hotel room. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's in the quiet taste. And uh, yeah, we're about 10 minute walk from the uh, uh, convention, so yeah. See you in a uh, We're walking to the conventions, about 10 minutes. There's a hotel, the Campanile. That's it, we've just the been Jewel to, of the North. We've just been to Canadian Street. <laughs> Two bumps away up there. Yeah. We're not far from the Look at that. Take a picture of your hair. Industry! <laughs> is that your hair? Industry! Close with your little hair. It's not self-care. <laughs> about six. In the coffee. Here we are. Traders. There's the moth. Hard at work. This is how we're looking, guys. For those of you who are coming in, Toy Fu, as always, plenty of stuff, lots of mainline stuff. To come and check all this out. Get your accessories. There's Paddy. Get it bought. <laughs> And then we have your forge type bits and pieces, some fantastic stuff. And then there's some more. Oh, Skyquake, very nice. More lovely stuff. We've got the panels area. There's Dave and Andy hard at work. And they do separate That's basically it. So it is uh, 11 o'clock, Pete's arrived and Emma's arrived and the t-shirts are here. <laughs> what? That's a great. Oh, Greg? that's not Greg. Why not Greg? I was the first subscriber. Yeah, I know. Always. Do you know how RJ was the first subscriber? Always. Because he'll Always. fucking tell you. First subscriber? <laughs> Last about a round though. <laughs> fucking hell. Uh, piss off, I got you two. <laughs> so it's never yeah. dark. I went two rounds with you last night. <laughs> Jamie has still not arrived. Um, we are so worried. We are worried. We're going to send him a text. See Lord, if he's okay. Lord Liddell is not here. We are now going to send out a search party. We've got a milk carton ready. If he's a region, please do not approach him. Please wait for the proper authorities and his carers. Thank you. Did wow. people already say that to that child? Oh, that's so disgusting. Oi! So, Cal, we'll get the same thing. I'll have to take it. Honestly. He's left his email in address. However, I've not checked that out loud for the reason of GDPR. I don't have a hard time. Well, it's not good. So, a deceptive called Flash. Which, why, again, as Chris McTaney said when we were judging, why isn't that a name of a Transformer already? It just sounds like it. It already is. Yeah, not only that as well, but I just love the pastel colouring. Like, it, it's so... <laughs> it's, it, yeah. I'm just more like it's an adjunct to the line it could have come out. So, Flash Mob is a deeply irritating robot who is...
Kanama ini. Straight edge till I die. Oh. Oh. A cheeky end. It is. I never forgot about you. It's seven o'clock. Well, it was about ten past midnight when I got to bed last night. Slept till five in the morning, like a baby. Woke up at five, couldn't get up to sleep for about an hour and a half, then got up to go and help the lunch and all that. Now it's taking on. No, 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 Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Hello, darling. <laughs> That's my dog today. <laughs> That's it. That's the video. We unmute all of you now. Unmute. 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 Oh, you've done it yourselves. I like it how Alexa's right. That's my phone playing. It's fucking calls. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it went. It went on random after we. Yeah. Oh the, uh, yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. Random. It was. It was on a Slipknot playlist. Really <laughs> Not through your personal put playlist. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I actually did. I slept calls. Maybe I did. We went from yeah. We went from we go from boy bands to girl bands to all bands to like uh, yeah. It was amazing how everyone named more girl bands than boy bands. I tell you what, girl band. Everyone's piped up <laughs> very loudly. Right. How was it? So, what do you guys think of TF Minicon? It's the second one they've done. Uh, how much was it? It was about forty pounds, wasn't it, for the ticket? Yeah. Uh, the um, I think it was about hundred and. 60 pounds for the hotel for two nights we stayed in a proper dodgy one around the corner the camp of the nil it was all right wasn't it actually it wasn't too bad i stayed in much nicer Brett, ones Brett, Brett was, not, was nice we went across the street every day to mcdonald's and every night okay so i guess i'll guide then so who's first Mini no, we don't that. need you to. No, I won't. Well, no, we ask you to go. Oh, well, I'll guess. Is everyone, I'll is is everyone, is everyone a mini gun vet? Is everyone a mini gun vet? No, so it was 40 pounds for a ticket. The hotel was about 160 pounds for two nights, 140 pounds. Uh, the one which it was in, which was the Manchester Marriott, uh, the Victorian Albert, wasn't it? Um, yes. Yeah, that, that was a lot more than 160 pounds. The DNA. Twice that, to be quite honest with you. Nice to have a nice Twice that. It wasn't that expensive. We stayed two nights. Or is that what you meant? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was two nights. Oh. If you say one night, yeah, yeah. But we, for, for those of us who are part of the Friday crew, the yeah. exclusive Friday crew, <laughs> no offense, <laughs> the true Friday crew, because we stayed in a good hotel. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I, well, I'll go first. I thought I really enjoyed the whole experience. It was a bit different for me this year to be at a con and actually kind of get to be a part of some of the behind the scenes stuff because obviously helping out with primetime toys i got to see the tfn lads running around and all the stuff they're doing and you get a bit of a bit of appreciation for the amount of work they put into it as well and also for the traders like the traders being up i mean what time were you up moff that morning I was up after you. You were up before me. Well, I know, but I, 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 I you may have. I'm so glad that Paul kept that in the video. <laughs> the fact that I just woke up at five o'clock and I couldn't get back to sleep. So I, that no. was that was more less out of choice rather than it was. You know, like oh, I'll jump up at five in the morning. This will be fun. You couldn't you even get excited. breakfast till half seven. To be fair, so excited to get. I was so excited. Christmas morning. Need a Christmas to go and uh, go and uh, uh, yeah, access the toy for <laughs> you never even helped. What are you talking about? I'll come back to you. I'm gonna go and look at toys. Like, who, uh, who, who wants a coffee? Who wants a coffee? He's, he's, not coffee? he's not lying. I just stood there buying things and then turning around the lads and saying, You're doing a great I'm job. Gonna get my... I'm going to apply for my own stall at TF Nation. I'm not going to sell for I'm just going to just be. Yeah, <laughs> it'll just be an empty table and, yeah. and I'll say it all sold out before it started. Yeah, Whenever anybody <laughs> comes near, he'll just go, go away. So, <laughs> right, first of all, venue. What did you all think of the venue? What do you think? Um, how did that? Oh, that was compared nice. to last year. I thought it was, it was better than nice. the previous year. Yeah, yeah, it was better than the previous year. Um, but I think but, the bar uh, area wasn't as. You weren't able to have no, everybody. I, I, I think we chose the wrong place to sit. We were closed off from everyone else, and we were, we missed out on a lot of um, 
movement population. And I think a lot of us had a back to people. So when people came up, it's kind of hard to catch people's eyes mm -hmm. as well. So I think we fucked up mm -hmm. there. We were now, on second away. day... I, had closed... I was still speaking to Alexis, so, okay. you know. Um, I I think that's the only thing. But that's something you don't know until after afterwards. Because mm -hmm. at the time, it was a brilliant idea. Because, you know, it's two tables. You can get a lot of people around there. So it's quite good. So it's only something which I think it's Andy was mentioning. The wives were comment, well, the wags were commenting mm -hmm. on as well, and it kind of sort of like stuck in. And I, and I just and I think that's the you know thing to think about TF Nation is to get into a sort of transient area, an area where there's going to be a sort of flow of people, so you can catch people and, and mingle around more instead of being closed off. That's that's my only view input and and. My pet hate is when you set up from your chair to go and buy a drink, don't go and sit in the fucking chair. Do it, do it. You know, I, 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 and I felt sorry for them because if you won't do it, I just went, oh gosh, but don't, don't do that. That's it. That's oh it. gosh, I'm sure that's okay. not what I heard. Oh, that's the exam. Oh gosh, I gosh. Golly gosh, golly gosh. Yeah, it, it was definitely much better than the previous okay. year, though, wasn't it? It was better. It, the, the, the bar yeah, yeah, yeah. beforehand, the previous year, felt really. Like we were really split up and all over the place, and it was all little mm. satellite groups. I could, I still, I think you're right. I think we probably we that was the right place for us to be far far away from people where we could be really loud and order <laughs> we food there, really on wrong. Saturday, on Saturday, we were there. We were in the main bar, and the wags thought it'd be a good idea for us to move away from the main flow. <laughs> Everything we were sat right in the why Alex it, it? it yeah. was a wax shout. I can't wasn't imagine it? why is you got your phone out and started playing. Which is funny music. since he complained about <laughs> it later. <laughs> oh, and also stood, wrong at the top, to me. Stood, stood at the top of the stairs at one point and shouted swear words very loudly to the point we had to take <laughs> quieter. And you went, I'm not shouting. <laughs> said one bad word. Oh, and you said it repeatedly and very loudly. <laughs> I'm amazed we didn't get kicked out at that point. There is no proof of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't caught. On video, but I think everybody watching knows. Yeah, anyway, that was Guzzi, the hotel. Because he made yeah. the point that uh, people who weren't guests at the hotel, or went, they, they thought weren't guests at the hotel, weren't apparently allowed to buy food and drink. And I know a couple of people who said they, they got asked was, to leave the bar the area. Well, this is it. I think I think it depends who you were with. Really, I think if you were with guests of the hotel, maybe well, you were okay. Skinny. I mean, Lord happen. Liddell was there, and they're not going to do anything yeah. about him because he oh, owns know. the place. So. <laughs> well, you know, I that's the one thing because I, I preferred the Minicon last year. I got to meet and talk to more people, and it was a much nicer atmosphere, you know. And um, and I, and I, and I, and I don't know if it's because I, if that's a hotel caused that by not allowing some people into the bar and it kind of spread around. Because I would have liked to have spoke to Guzzy. You know, Guzzy. It, it yeah. definitely wasn't yeah, because you were absolutely yeah. munted on the <laughs> yeah. And you didn't come downstairs <laughs> till our past four. Well, the thing is, this is this is true. Guzzy he, he bought from Manchester Minicon last year, he bought the, the sexy RC. And he was talking about it and other stuff. So I went straight away and I went, you know what? I'm going to order that for TF UK coin, which I did. And I've ordered sexy RC and from TF UK coin. And I've I actually got a Pedicon. Um remember the the Keo Pedicon and I've got the Keo Dinobots. Um I also got the um the Wheeler, uh, Roller Optimus Prime. So I've bought a lot from Fame Time Toys, but apparently to Graham, I've not bought anything from the accused of me that on Saturday. And I was thinking, we still I might be Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I saw good. Have you got anything else you want to get off your chest, Jamie? Yeah, yeah Jamie, is there anything well, upsetting you? That you, <laughs> <laughs> that you what grinds one. my gears? <laughs> this is why I make less people. Less are good. <laughs> right, all of these the things were the fault of the hotel, and in no way because I was hungover from the night before, because that doesn't no, happen. No. <laughs> I was in hospital on Monday. It was a freaking medical thing I had. I had a spell on the chest. Because well, he did they, say that, I mean, it was nice that they had uh, um, throughout the um, convention there was like free water and ice, uh, which yeah, was pretty cool. Was it was a nice yeah, touch, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was well very needed. warm in that trader hall. It was, it was oh. really warm. Oh. And there was lots of people who weren't staying at the hotel and got served food and um, drinks as well. They probably just, uh, I'm sure they'll look at it for next year. Um, so, what about the actual hall, the actual convention itself, and the guests? I thought the hall was out? really good for the space between the stalls. 
compare yeah. it to last year. And we we were in the last year's hotel for uh, where we were staying. So we were we were literally having breakfast on a Saturday morning where we had been sailing last year, just for fun, you know, sitting in the same bit. And uh, honestly, the difference in gaps between the two stalls just for, we were right across from Toy Fu this, uh, this weekend. And I think if we'd been there last year, we'd have been overlooked because people do use us as a walkway. Uh, whereas this yeah. time there was proper space between the two. Um, so I thought it was really good from that, from this, you know, the other side of the table. I thought the hall was really well laid out, really. You know, we were very lucky. Um, we talked about it very beginning, Andy, that we get the prime yeah. position that people just came straight in. You know, right VFA guys position. looked after us, big style. Prime really, time really position. Cool. And it worked really. It, it was amazing. That that first half an hour was just it was uh, man, it brilliant. Was, quite, <laughs> quite a baptism of fire for me because I've never done anything like that for like customer facing stuff. And people just handing over hundreds of pounds to yeah. me for these tickets. <laughs> but I. Uh, I gave it all to Moth. I promise I gave it all to Moth. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you back hey, on um, again at CFA at some point. It kind of was, was like a Conga was... line last year, the year before, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, there wasn't kind enough of, space between the channel. Yeah. It was... And they did comment on that. The organisers said before yeah. we started that that was one of the things that they'd looked at was that I think they must have had some comments made by guests at last year's about the amount of space, particularly for people like wheelchair users and things like that, which obviously yeah. that we saw quite a few during the course of the day. The seminars suffered, though. The seminars were smaller. There was less space um, I saw. I, I'm not sure if it was, though, because I thought the place, like last year, which, Jamie, when we went to watch it, I thought it was a bit narrower, whereas they, it was, they, yeah. they spread it out, you know, width-wise. Um, but, I mean, it seemed I to go very well. I only had the um, MI for Liam and Stuart at that last seminar. <laughs> I only had eyes for I, um, <laughs> I, I think they could have used the space a bit better. Um, yeah, I do. I, 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 think, I think it's starting to get to... You know the minicon is now at a size where i think having those you, you know the two trailers as you walked in the door kind of thing when you had really only had um jack lawrence and uh, and chris carter at the back kind of thing i think you had that that space that you could have used and i think it's getting to a size now where there's still so many people and if you're going to have loads of the good traders in there i think you know we go back to the you know, the old days of auto assembly and stuff like that. They used to have the traders almost like in a not horseshoe. That old. That's like another decade for me, mate. You're not a real fan, though, are you? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I was working. I was working. That's, that's the trouble I've been working class, you know, I had to. <laughs> Tell me again about your elite status with your Robus and Grimlock. <laughs> Robus and Grimlock. Uh, I was down working the class. Down, <laughs> the mines, down the mines. <laughs> Yeah, um, I think the space management up here was much better than last year. I yes. liked I liked the outlay though. I like it having the traders there. Then um I thought that was excellent and having the stuff at the front where they were doing all the panels. I thought yeah. that was good. You just kind of wanted I don't know, you can't want it, it get it, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Because you kinda of want it to be bigger. At what point do you Dancing stop and say, girls, actually it's just turning into boys. TF Nation, the whole TF Nation, that's what we want. It's like not that mind. it's just the yeah. small hall that you're going to with some traders, which is awesome. Somewhere you can meet up with friends, have beers, and you can see some people. They can't really do it much. Do you know, if they go any do, bigger, should, it's turning into a bigger convention. They should yeah. have dancing cages so people could just go in there and with their cosplay and dance around the pole. Just like Bumblebee with the pole. Bumblebee, yeah, it's a homage to the G1 cartoon. <laughs> An homage. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you're right, though. I think the layout of it, I, know, I get what you're saying, Pete, totally. The, the, the kind of forge area seemed yeah. quite spacious considering how yeah. much was actually yeah. in there but i think i don't know if that's a result of they maybe were expecting more people in there but they've got to allocate a certain area for it i do think like with primetime toys uh, we were discussing where you could easily have had another table easily filled it with with your stock and stuff like that because a lot it was finding space for everything was a bit of a but challenge it was safer, it wasn't it? It? it was yeah oh, yeah people. definitely definitely if, 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 something <laughs> happened it would have been more more either to work with like an emergency or anything like that and i will say this there's, there was quite a lot of people i saw i can hear somebody's echoing again and quite a lot of people i saw who had um uh, kids with them 
So that was really nice Ooh. to see the kids coming and getting involved. There was even uh, who were the sellers, Moff? There was the father and son yeah. sellers. Yeah. My God, that lad was good. <laughs> he yeah. was, uh, he was Paddy, Paddy, Paddy wasn't my son. He's just small. No, no, not him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not I would Paddy. love that, Drew. I would love that, Drew. Uh, you're the high my to estimations, one, anyway. One, 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 brew colours. Jane, are uh, you saying that you're the one Robo7 fan who puts his Grimlock in a cage and yells the command consent? <laughs> what sounds oh, like the it. metaphorical <laughs> cage for, aren't we? For a joke, that was quite strict, Alexis. Chucked <laughs> and hemmed in. Glass cage of emotion. <laughs> <laughs> Milk was a bad choice. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the con was, uh, was good. Um... It's not the thing is it's not TFN. It's not full TFN, so you know it's not never going to be that. But it's and it, shouldn't it was be. it was it shouldn't be. It felt to me there was more than last year a little bit. But yeah. I, I mean I'm coming from it from a different point of view because my day was broken up a bit more by obviously being involved with the prime time toy stuff and and seeing a bit of what's happening behind. I don't know. You guys were kind of front facing, you know, out there with the people. The whole time, so you may have had a obviously a slightly different experience to, to Aya. I mean, look, TFN I really know how sorry. to put TFN know how to put on a convention. Yeah, you definitely. Know, it is it exceptionally polished. well managed. Yeah, oh, staff are brilliant. Well managed. All yeah. of the TFN crew, brilliant. It, it it's just one of those that I think if there's been there's been formats in the past that have have worked, the issue hasn't been the format. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, I think using that space for me, that's the only thing I would have changed was perhaps the layout a little bit because it's still a mini con, but you're still, you know, two or three deep at a lot of the tables and stuff. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. could that be, could that be tweaked with a different format? I, I, I don't know, but there's only one way to find out in there. You know, that's I, maybe the tweet. Of... I think, um, I, sorry, Jamie. looking at T, um, TF Nation mini con and, and, uh, and the one year before, I really enjoyed the Friday nights because it's when you get to speak to the TFN yeah. staff. Yeah, and they're much more relaxed. Saturday oh, was so special. lovely. Well. I didn't, I didn't like it too much, but then that's because of freaking muscle injury and stuff like that. But I like coming up with the game walls. But people are tired, <laughs> and people are knackered yeah. well as well. Yeah, and that's the people who are running the event and the stall, and and they are some of the big personalities. And I forget that they've been behind a stall all day. Or they've been running the thing as well, so you know. So I I always recommend the night before, you know, you get them with the eye of the storm, whatever that is. Um, you know, when before, you know, when they're still in a high, when they've got all that adrenaline pumping yeah. through them, and that's cool. And that's why with TF Nation, you know, I think it's 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 you got a longer day, it's a longer spread, so people aren't going to be so burnt out and so yeah. tired. You're going to have that sort of dip. And stuff like that, but it was a pleasure to meet um, Jermaine. You know, um, you can, I was watching him going around the bar. He's such a, a little good talker and a little the way he just moves from table to table and stuff like that. And I was just going, "You're a master of this art." You know, I think I, I think uh, I met Jermaine, just a nice guy. I think I met, I, met Jermaine, I, I met Jermaine the year before I met you guys. I think I met Jermaine in 2017. I think Jermaine had quite a few beers at 17. I think 17 or maybe 18. Jermaine will confirm. I met I know Jermaine for quite a few. Pretty sure years, it wasn't actually. you had quite a few beers. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty I mean, sure <laughs> you had quite a few beers. Jermaine may have been <laughs> there. Yeah, you know, was you this when he carried you out with the oh. greet, um, uh, the meetup? There is I met Billy. Uh, no, no, no. I've never met Jermaine. Jermaine, Jermaine, Jermaine tactically before. avoided that. The, he was video, talking to Alexis. And Billy said, I was like, <laughs> we were talking. He's like, when did you first come to TFN? I was like, oh, 2018. Uh, but like, I, I, he was like, oh, the Stan Bush one. I was like, oh, yeah, I was there. I took my kids and my wife. Um, but then the next year, I left my kids at home. And he was like, did you? Because Alexis is still with me. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know what it, is, it Billy? sucks? <laughs> I, I, you put in all this effort for the show, and Billy still doesn't know my name. But he knows fucking Alexis. And I'm thinking, well, that's to be good. fair, mate, <laughs> most people yeah, know Alexis. Yeah. Yeah. I was speaking to other members of staff at one point on the setup on the Saturday morning, and I was having a little chat with... Uh, with uh, the people on the front table, and uh, even they brought up the name Alexis. <laughs> and uh, yeah. it's, it's, in Amber, like, it's, inf you know, it's infamous, <laughs> though. Let's be very clear. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, I've was never well heard of it. Thomas, it's infamous. You were very well behaved. Was, yeah, I was well, nice with you in the hotel. Apart from the swear, and, and the it wasn't yeah. like, yeah, I had about spending two nights in the hotel. 
But you were your jokes, which was very ropey, which you repeated <laughs> six times. And I thought, yeah. if he gets louder, oh, this is bad. <laughs> you know it will just mind that. If no one laughs at your jokes, you just say it again. Uh, here louder. We... Do you want to play yeah, that? Yeah, didn't hear it. <laughs> That's why you didn't laugh. <laughs> I'm not trying now. It's Saturday morning quite well, right, actually. I'll there's a video. Try and play it. That's the one. If you, I'll, I'll press play. Bet there's no audio. Bet there's no fucking audio, is there? Sound? No. Sound? No, there's no sound. This is the no sound. sound. One. No, there's no yeah. sound. And you're going to get us it's done. That's a, that's, a, that's a show. Isn't that from the ge uh, Gentleman? Yeah. Or yeah. It's called. Yeah. 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 Oh, don't it's get us copyright strike just for oh, a <laughs> <laughs> just don't. I'm not. A, it's changed. Hang on. Paul, you've got it on your side. I've sent, I've sent it to you. You play it, Paul. Have I? Where? Yeah, yeah, that is your on my side. I sent it. I sent no, it. You I've sent, sent it over like email or on Facebook Messenger, or uh, you've got it on you so on Bebo. your side. Same Bebo. <laughs> Messenger. Messenger. Shit, old Bebo. If he puts it on his MySpace, can you get it from there? <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. It's uh, possibly available guys, through Netscape. the host of Transformers the Show. That's working. Well, yeah, that yeah. worked. Shall I just yeah. play I'll that instead? Okay, yeah, fuck it, do that one. We'll do the one that. Like reach out to you, um, so we can clear some things up from a matter that was raised. People oh, do a solo. No. Uh, an accusation uh, was made. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wait, what were we doing? Oh. Dick swinging contest. Spin the wheel. Spin it. Spin it. Right. Um, we wanted to apologise for that. Spin, spin it. Spin. It's time to say sorry. You, oh, oh fuck. the worst way to do no, this. No, no, mate, no, what no. That's mate? not how you do this. <laughs> mate, you this said it once, you're going to win it. That's the best way. <laughs> is that Same how you spin the wheel? But do you know I'm sorry? Two uh, hours 44 <laughs> smegging me. <laughs> oh, my God. This oh. is an absolute travesty of a, of a game show. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoops. We all made mistakes. Sorry. <laughs> Alexis, we will be having words. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've lost a lot along the way. Don't encourage us, mate. Oh, I'm sorry. Never mind them. I'm un unsubscribing after this. It's an awkward situation. We'll just... Great idea! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry for having fun. Maybe I've just watched <laughs> Paul's video. Because that was... Like a <laughs> I am going to say this. This, is this, this, is, this happened months ago. No, it's really not. How have you, no, have you <laughs> never seen Wheel of Fortune? <laughs> there is 121 <laughs> people watching this. Um, <laughs> there's another 10 minutes to go. God bless you and all who say on you because Jesus Christ. I... No, spin it again. Just spin it again. Again. Oh, sorry. Blood I read mean the fuck up by Transformers the show. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, so Nathan's the last one Oh, for the love of God. Nathan what wins. a so fucking Nathan. waste of life. Still Snoop Dogg and Dre. <laughs> Guess who's back? <laughs> is that the music he's going to get us cut? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, stop it there, though. Oh, oh, That's right. There's oh, another oh, competition oh, coming your way, Travis. Yeah. Yeah. How did you let oh, that video go through? <laughs> how, did, how did you watch that and think, that's a good idea, Alexis? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so, I never saw new... that episode, ever. I can't believe how awful that looked. <laughs> that was <laughs> rubbish. I time you realised the crack is a powerful are... oh, Was it a really <laughs> big, long wheel? <laughs> and did it go on for ages? Oh, he just he didn't do oh, it. You spent oh, once oh, and there's oh, the winner. No, no. Oh, you oh, had oh, to eliminate each person on a time. Hold it in. Hold it in. So what we're going to do, right, is we're into 100 people in the next one. That sounds amazing. We'll work out the format of how you're going to win at the end, right? But there'll be a wheel of 100 people eventually. One spin. One sheet, one, one spin. spin. Seriously. Yeah. Oh, oh, one okay, spin. Fine, fine, fine. One yeah, spin. Okay, one spin. Pass, pass, pass. okay. So the okay. way you enter. I, I don't think one Alexis thing. is capable of decision making after watching that video, is he? He's just. <laughs> I've got <sighs> PTSD. <laughs> I mean, that was right. actually a congratulations video, okay. wasn't it? We're going to go to you one by one. Final thoughts on TFN Minicon. Um, I'll start off. It was fucking awesome. It was brilliant. It was brilliant seeing you guys. You were amazing. As you always are, I'm so always so happy to consider you my friend. Seeing everyone else there was brilliant. F far too many generous people um, bought uh, drinks, and fucking Lily brought me a transformer. That's insane. And um, 
yeah, met some new people as well. Got to know some people a little bit better from DF Nation, uh, which was lovely. Uh, and just the um, the whole thing was just really well run. Uh, and I'm very lucky that I got a ticket. The only thing I think, though, is they sold out again. They sell out every year. Like, is it just going to grow and be TF Nation in the end? Because they could put another 100 on, go to a bigger place, and I kind of hope it does. But we'll find out. Uh, Andy was brilliant seeing you there. Uh, and that takes us to Andy in the show. What it was great. It, I I'd mirror everything you've said. It was it was really good fun. Really enjoyed it. Had such good fun chatting with so many people, all the people who came and joined us. A little bit of controversy over the seating from time to time. But apart from that, it was just a really good laugh and really just it was two days of fun and hanging out with friends and the like the con <laughs> post con blues were real afterwards. Yeah. Um, you know, traveling back on the Sunday was lovely as well. And it was really nice to get because, um, I mean, hopefully, Moff, you, um, well, I think I know you did have the same experience. I know, Jamie, you had the same experience. And Pete, I know you do as well. When you're going back and you, your partners have come along and they've all got to hang out as friends and just have a laugh themselves, you're just telling stories all the way home in the car. It's just, mm -hmm. you know, like the journey back flew by because we we're just laughing all the time at stuff that had gone on and, just wonderful, just really great time with friends. And obviously, for me, I got that little bonus of getting to experience the primetime toy stuff and being part of that. And that was really fun as well. I just chatting with that. And I do want to give a shout out to Dave Wallace. Lovely. Oh, he's, Dave is such a nice bloke. Uh, he was yeah, there in the I car park him. when I arrived and I sta chat, sta chatted with him. And he said, Come and sit with me and Andy Turnbull. And that was what I did straight away when I got there because the other lads weren't there by that point. I went and sat with them for an hour or so while and had a drink and a chat, and it was just really nice Apart and really from good fun. The bit I thought he was going to kill me, but yeah. that was just yeah. funny though because you do, <laughs> you look genuinely worried, genuinely worried. <laughs> and all he wanted to say was nice things. He's been working out. I've been thinking. Yeah, that. <laughs> is that what you thought it was for? <laughs> <laughs> so he could pound you into the ground. <laughs> No, that's cool. Awesome. Um, <coughs> I must do a massive shout out to Pete and Emma. Those Transformers show um, shirts were fucking amazing. Oh, yeah, like, the shirts. I, not yeah, yeah. I wore it they the whole brilliant. day. I got changed. Uh, Alexis just got changed in the uh, the bar. I went to the toilet and got changed there. But yeah, they were amazing. And yeah, awesome. well, we all saw him expose himself. Thank you. It's probably yes. best we don't talk and about. so did Sam, and that's why he had to. <laughs> oh, that was a highlight. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, right. move on. <laughs> so from not Thank Greg, God for that from one prime Twitter time to another prime time, <laughs> Moff, um, what are your thoughts uh, on the Minicom? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of echo Andy's uh, and the point you made there, like, this was the first time. So my wife and I went to Auto Assembly 2012 for the first time. It's the only time the two years went without kids. So obviously we came this time without kids. And it was lovely. She was very uh, welcomed by all the wags uh, and had an absolute bright time. Her and Lynn went uh, out shopping and meant that we were actually ready to leave because they'd left for the car. <laughs> they finished. But uh, no, she had an absolutely great time. She's already told me she wants to come back next year. So next year and now need to hire a van just so I've got an extra seat for her. But that's cool because it'll be good fun. Um, and she's really looking forward to TFUK Con as well. But uh, I was very, 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 very grateful of Andy's support. Um, uh, Greg had to uh, take a wee break from the con and then kind of step back a wee bit from social media as well. But Andy stepped up big style and it was a good, good laugh. Um, it was manic. It was crazy. The first like hour was surreal. It was. It just was mad. People just buying crazy stuff. And it was really nice. Your because energy levels last good year. Game, bro, I thought you you seem still yeah. really awake and full of energy at night. That's. Oh, I was, I was, I, I, I was shattered. But it's the excitement, it's the adrenaline. It is adrenaline, isn't yeah. it, Andy? Like, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. all is mad. But like, the nervous energy is amazing. But it was um, last year was our first year trading, so people didn't really know what to expect from us. People coming this year saying, "I was coming to you for this, and I'm coming." It was lovely having people coming to look for what we were, we had. So, no, it was great. And then just spend time with you guys was absolutely fantastic. Um, Alexis, I couldn't understand by the end of Saturday night. Yeah, <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> I needed a translator. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, but no, it was absolutely fabulous. Uh, and, and they did kind of hint that there'll be another mini con, as in another location. So, and, you know, they sold out in what, 24 hours? Yeah. It's yeah. almost crazy not to, as a business sense. You know, they're an event business. Yeah. Surely yeah. you're looking, go, well, if we sold out one event, 
I can do another, and how much is that allowed them to have funds to do bigger things at TFN? Um, yeah. And then the reveals for the guests for TFN were, were pretty epic. I'm quite excited for Greg Berger and David Kay. Like, they'll be fantastic. So, no, it was a, a brilliant weekend overall. Cool. Pete, thoughts? Uh, echo what I think you guys have said. Um, it's an honour and a privilege being involved in this show. And it's an honour and privilege, I think, as a result of being involved with the show, the people that I've met uh, and I get to spend time with. And I think that was evident on Saturday night. Um, I love TFN, uh, the mini con or the big one. Um, I think it's really well run and I'll go to every event they do because it's, if nothing else, it's an excuse to spend great time with great people. And I think that's me. Oh, beautiful well said. Well said. Uh, Jamie? Um, I'm not going to go to any more Transformer Convention. <laughs> um, I don't think you went to uh, this one. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I just thought... Uh, I saw a very I, quiet I, Jamie for three hours. <laughs> yeah, I could have spent my money somewhere else. And um, I'm going to go to the TF Nations. I'm going to go to the TF Nation, the big ones. But I've decided no other transformer conventions i'm going to unless um tf do a new mini con somewhere else i don't know that would be quite interesting like london or you know in scotland scotland you know, or, yeah or dublin would be cool i don't know why i'm picking dublin maybe poland i don't know if, if we pick <laughs> somewhere else that, 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 that would be quite go. interesting <laughs> but the, re the reason i'm not going to do tf nation mini cons is because i like to go to the bar and <laughs> come back to have a seat <laughs> <laughs> and, and it was just to, but no, seriously, you should the, go the big, to like Harry with you. The, the big, we need, the we need to have save these next time. The big, the big yeah, reason is, um, I, I'm not getting any younger, believe it or not. I'm quite, I'm, I'm in my 40s. I know I look like I'm 20, but I'm in my 40s. And, and I just decided next year I want to go to different places and stuff. So, if it does allow you know to fit in. But normally these times are fitted in. I'm a teacher, so the time they're fitted in is the only time I get to go somewhere. So Clash and Would I you... definitely want to go to Japan next year. But I want to go to TF Nation, the big one, because I never. I, I, that's just too epic. I don't want to miss out on that. So I'm going to have to plan my events much better. And and I could be saying all of this, and next week I go, well, you know what, Mayland, I really want to go to these. <laughs> <laughs> but there's other toy conventions I want to go to, and it's because mm. of fucking Graham. I've been talking about that. So when I went, great, I want to go to those ones and these ones. And so yeah. the reason I probably won't be going to any more of these mini con things is because of Graham and um, Pete. Who keep taking me to different toy conventions yeah, that's, or suggesting that's, that's, different that's toy fair conventions? Point. <laughs> yeah, so, is that your takeaway message from the weekend? Is you're not going again? Because <laughs> that was the question. <laughs> you're not going to get a letter from Billy with that but kind of attitude. Billy <laughs> <laughs> no, doesn't still know my name. <laughs> I'll bet he does. I'll bet he does. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> now, <laughs> you know. Jamie's there uh, whispering, say my name, say my name. He went up, you're that fat Scottish bloke. And I went, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> he did not say that. <laughs> oh, no. And he's here. Right, okay. okay. Uh, Alexis, come on, finish the show off. How did Ooh. you find it? Uh, so can I just finish off the competition that I wanted to actually, that's the whole point of the video that I put on. Yeah, cool. <laughs> it's so, 35 minutes right. long. So um, we have a team, we have a show code on the show Z. If you, if you buy third party, you buy fourth party, uh, you buy masterpiece, go on the show Z, the show Z store. You can put in the support reviewer, TF show. Um, when you place an order, that enters you into the competition. Um, there's an email address, which I'll, I'll do a video for this at the end. But if you do that, that enters you. The idea is that we'll run it until we have a hundred entries, and then we'll do another, we'll do one, another wonderful wheel. Or I'm sure my co-host will want some other way of picking a winner, which we'll discuss at sure great debate after this show because of the show. Anyway, there are 17 no people debate. so far. So the so the idea is that anyone who's supporting so far, so the last competition ended on the 12th of January. What no one knows is that I've been entering you, everyone who placed an order since then up until now. In the competition so if you've been supporting the channel still oh. you are entered so we so we've got 17 people entered so far in the competition once That's we get cool. to 100 once we get to 100 we will buy you a figure 
of roughly a hundred dollars. So a masterpiece, great figure, uh, the, the really good legends figure. Pounds. I don't know what the, uh, the idea is that the more entries, the bigger the prize. Last time someone got themselves uh, a, a toy color new age sludge. That was the prize last time, right? Ooh. The prize this time with more people should be much bigger than that, really, as well. So if you use TF Show code on Showsy Store, and there's instructions there, go to showsystore.com, and then you can put there at the top of the front page TF Show, which you place an order. That entry, the more times you do it, the more entries you get. We're going to do 100 entries. So if you do enter more than once, it carries through. We'll do that and we'll we'll, we'll get all that and we'll pull pull names out of some sort of hat, probably not a wheel. And that's how you enter. So yeah, you, can, um, you could just spin the wheel once and have a winner. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's Paul, an option. Could you share um, that page, please, a second? Um, Transformers the show Twitter account for TF Nation will be running another competition like last year. Um, all you will need to do when we enter this competition is just to subscribe and like, just so we can message you on the day to hand your present when I'll send um, Pete, Paul, and Andy to go and escort you to get your prize. The few biggest lads in this show. <laughs> Don't make it sound threatening. <laughs> it's it's nice to be a nice scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you will smile when the photograph is you accept. Your <laughs> you will <laughs> smile. Number one on the Decepticon hot cassette charts, as I believe the earthlings say, lay it on me, man. I like that, right? I, I that. That, that said the best that. news, which was bollocks. Sorry, hey, Ian, on. I forgot to play that. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. So, yeah, my, that's just... my Vico. So, my, so, my, so, my thoughts, and I feel like I've walked into a different show here. Like, I literally leave the room for two seconds, thanks, leave the room for two seconds, and then like something else. So, if you want to enter in the competition, please do. The code is there. The bottom of the screen so anyway my thoughts and is it just me now my thoughts on tf minicon it was my first proper one i went last year but i was late because of a plane delay i was at uh they get this all 9 30 at night so i only got a chance to speak to people, to see people in the barry so um for my first experience um i thought it was like a meeting nation i thought it was put on very well i thought everyone was very professional uh it was on it was all on time everything ran to queue there was enough stalls there, enough people to say hello to as well. Uh, I, I liked hopping around the bar on Saturday night and saying hello to different people, sitting down with the organisers and some of the guests as well and having conversations, meeting some of the, the new youngsters as well. And they were a bit too, sometimes a bit too uh, shy to go and say hello to the the uh, OGs and stuff. So it was, it was I liked putting the links in and bring people to the table. It was like, almost like mix and match. I don't know. It was, it was, it was good fun. So I enjoy seeing my friends as well. I met some new friends as well, which was really cool. Um, I would go again, definitely. Um, thank you, Paul, for helping me out with the hotel. Thank you, Jamie and Malin for helping me out with the lift. And thank you, Pete, for that wonderful T-shirt. And, uh, uh, yeah, I had an amazing time. So um, was awesome. I thought, I thought, I thought it all came Emma together. Emma and Pete. Thank you to Emma and Pete for the T-shirt. Sorry. Uh, I thought it all came together very well. I thought the bar was, it was cheaper than Birmingham, which That's wasn't Emma, hard to be. Right. Say that. <laughs> Such a bitch. It's good that you reminded <laughs> him because he's. Why am I? Well, if you're the bitch, why don't you be on the screen with me? It's just, it's like you're really cross with back. Jamie, like he gets cross with you. <laughs> it's amazing that, isn't it? It's really annoying yeah. when people interrupt you because they won't shut the yeah. fuck up. Anyway, no, I don't mind. I'm saying if you want to have a conversation. Oh, oh no, you don't mind really all of a sudden. Oh, no, not mind. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Hey, I'll buy the uh, first drinking, round because you didn't I'm spend drinking, anything yesterday. I'm, 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 I'm drinking a Salt, salt, a salt Claire wine from 2015 tonight, if everyone's wondering, from my, my wine shop. So, Paul, you like this one. It's nice. complex. Yeah. You've got another three minutes. Keep going. I feel like he's he's, um, <laughs> he's finished. No, I, I, I was quite surprised. Alexis actually bought two rounds in a row at TF Nation. I, I, I feel he got shamed into that, to be fair. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't hear him about that in the hall. Let's not up. Let's not it's because Friday up. cost him 15 quid. Actually, it was actually it was ten pounds because I spent more at McDonald's. Of... <laughs> uh, I didn't well, realize. I thought I... McDonald's was for fourteen pounds. I thought I was going to We went to McDonald's every single night. The second uh, second night, we went to McDonald's. Uh, and we were both sitting there. Uh, it's one a.m., half past two, or two a.m. or whatever. That's it, about two a.m. I think it was about two a.m. And we just but we waited ages to get our food. Like things were happening. There was Uber drivers going in and out. We finally got you our had, food. You we had a bottle of red down. wine. I had a bottle of prosecco. And next is just fell asleep straight away, sitting up <laughs> just like this. So I just I had a bit of his chicken selects. <laughs> I thought, should I wake him up? Or should I steal 
some of his food. <laughs> so I stole <laughs> some. And I woke him up. He was a bit disorientated. I was like, I need to get you back to the hotel with your chicken selects. <laughs> and in the morning, you ate them, didn't you? But you also ate no, the hash brown no, no. from no, I two I, days I look, ago. I looked at oh, the selects. Oh, hash browns. I thought, oh, hash browns. Yeah. So I was going by the hash brown. I went, nope nope and then i couldn't eat anything else after that i was like i didn't eat i didn't eat until i got home and i was like i remember so did you two basically Jack... live off mcdonald's for two days because <laughs> it sounds no, like I, you I, did I had a, yeah, I had a gdk this... as well I had a gdk I had a oh you did bag. have a gdk yeah. i remember it's, you get the delivered. whole bar yeah it really to be did fair, I, I, I think I, that was the only thing that stopped him being in a serious state on saturday night he was oh, just yeah. in a state <laughs> i was oh, the one thing i was was it TF Nation last year? Um, Graham, we all went out for a meal, which was superb. Yeah, we didn't I get think to do we that. We need to do that more often. You know, none yeah. of this. Yeah, well, we talked about that. We need to do that again next year. We need to do that yeah. again. Next we year. need fine dining. Like, you know, chicken nuggets from his we... coat pocket. <laughs> True. We'd have gone out for lunch, Jamie, I'm like, but I'm you like, weren't I'm there. Like, That's I'm a true story. I'm a robber. I'm a ready. My nugget Eddie. My nugget Lexi. What? No. <laughs> uh, hamburger Eddie from, you know, the whole night, nine, whatever. Yeah, the... the no! No, so we don't know! That's why... It... I mean, the... I remember Lex is trying to do boxing on the Friday night. Oh, he was out of his head. Boxing yeah, or beatboxing? Yeah, yeah, I don't know both boxing and boxing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, oh, I remember oh. when Alexis's mate turned up. What was his? What was your mate called again? Alexis? John, gangster. Up, John, yeah, John. Yeah, yeah. And he told us really nice. uh, somebody asked him what, what whether you had a like a, a nickname because we were saying you were a bit of a liability and whether you had a nickname and he called you Two Pint Limit and I, I, I thought yeah. that was perfect. <laughs> I think that's what you should change your show name to Two Pint Limit. <laughs> no, <laughs> the thing that John was wasn't John taller than Paul. <laughs> Oh, my, that was... Is that your comeback to Paul? So, hang on, Paul. hang on. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, they've shamed me about my drinking ability. I'll make Paul seem slight. I'm, I'm sure not joking. Is. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> when we woke up in the morning, the first thing he said was, oh, um, John last night was taller than you. <laughs> <laughs> so, whatever I've done is negated because yeah. you're, sh you're sh As if it's my fault, as if it's some sort of skill <laughs> I have to be tall. And I didn't manage to do it against John, and I'm a fucking idiot because of that. <laughs> you try harder, Try harder. Don't worry, you'll, yeah. you'll, oh, you'll see John, John, John's coming down to the barbecue in July, so mm. the, uh, the, the, the bottomless brunch and drinks and stuff, so you'll see John again. John's lovely boy. Be gay, so, bet you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> he does look right. like you. Anyway, hi, John. You've got good fashion. John's, cool John's lovely. I love John. Bring, 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 your Bring, your <laughs> Bring your big shoes, Paul. Bring your big shoes. Bring your one with big heels. The <laughs> heels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much for watching Transformers. Paul, that other, other video is ready now if you want to play it. It's actually working. I've got oh, the other video. You know what? I wish we had time for it. No, no. Really not that one. It will get us kept. One minute, though. It's not. Maybe next week. Let me see everyone. Take care. Head to Transformers, Bye. the show, Facebook. Bye-bye. Au revoir. Bye-bye.